Yeah. We are live <laughs> at Karen's Corner in midst of the carnivore virus. It has not shut this fucking podcast down. No what? What? The corona. The coronavirus. That's what I said. Yep. We're uh, brought to you by Pioneer Fit, www.generalleathercraft.com. Uh, go there for all your leather needs. Dress belts, regular belts, sparkly belts, wallets. Cock rings. <laughs> Cock rings. Still plenty in stock. Got one on right now. Yep, I can see it from here. You can? <laughs> Harder than ever. Oh, yeah, hard as a fucking rock. Watch out, Karen. Like a rock. <laughs> We're also brought to you by Lock Up Gym, Taylorville IL, lug inkcom um, he just got some men's uh, apparel up. He's got women's apparel. He's got massage guns. He's got the massage gun. That's He's good for him out. and her. Yeah. He's sending him out to us tomorrow. I think. Yeah, he is. It arrives here tomorrow. So, Karen, so, be ready. You're going to get massaged. You're getting massaged. Uh, Lucky me. Can you? Does my voice sound weird on here? I feel like I'm in a tunnel. Nope. You're fine. <laughs> so you always sound sweetheart. Oh, uh, shit. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you right now. Um, I apologize for last week's episode. I was extremely intoxicated. Tom was not that intoxicated. Nope. Um, I listened to it. It sounded terrible. It wasn't that bad. Uh, I was like, Ugh! oh yeah, you're man. Different. I was drunk. I'm with the audio. I couldn't believe how drunk I was. Again, yep. that's how you always sound, sweetheart. Oh, it is. Yeah, it's just you. Holy shit! I never listened to these episodes really. You know, I was, <laughs> I was like, well, I'm gonna listen to this one a little bit. You know, and. And I'm like, holy shit, I was that drunk? Yeah, I usually listen to it like two or three times over. I repeated like myself once, a lot. Once or I twice tell. to make sure everything's fine, and then I'll upload it, and then I'll make sure it's fine on the app. For some reason, I kept saying, we are alive, like 25 times. Yeah. Yeah, no shit. What a terrible... Uh, That's your catchphrase. I guess, I don't know. Next t-shirt. <laughs> we are live. Yep. Yeah, let's get to the podcast. Uh, we are joined by Cowboy Cam. Hold on, where are we at? We are not on location anymore. We're not. We're in the location. No, but we were on live on location in some location last week. We're at Karen's corner. Now we're, we're back, back home. Yeah. Yes. At Karen's corner. The last open bar in Illinois. Hey, Cam. Yeah, that's right. Cam's here. I just heard him somewhere. Cam's actually telling good jokes. Cam, <laughs> yeah, why is that microphone so far from your face? How many times do you got to do this? It's the like breathing. A, the breathing. It's, who cares? Bring it closer, man. No one's going to be able to hear you. Nobody well, can hear you to begin with. No one's going to be able to hear anybody else. <laughs> so Jesus Christ. Well, I can mute you if it's really bad. I had to mute, uh, who was it? Dan, Dan. Bell. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't Dan. Yeah, last last week. The guy from Lug Inc. No, no, no. No, last week. Yeah, that was two weeks. Oh, Chuck. what's the truck? The truck. Yeah, Chuck Finn. Oh. Like, <sighs> I'm like, mute. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Just breathing into everything. Chuck was awesome. He's something. <laughs> He's something. Yeah, we got Cowboy Cam here. Karen Finn here. Miss Barbell. Yeah, we always have these guys lying around, so we throw them on from time to time. Lying around. Yeah. Cam's fucking lying out the shed, you know, with his mustache and whatever else is going on. And then Karen's in there doing dishes, so I had to throw her in here. <laughs> <laughs> Grab a beer, put some lipstick on, let's go. You can take a break from the dishes for an hour. Mm -hmm. Then we're good for something. Yeah, yeah we're around. Cheers. Yeah. We're around. We're, we're glad around. you guys could join us. Lay laying around. We're convenient. Yeah. Yeah. They're laying around, you know. They got nothing else to do. No. no. Mm -mm. And then Tom Callis shows up, uh, I think two hours of sleep. Yep. Uh, looks, I don't know, either tired or hungover or almost dead of the coronavirus. One of the fucking five. I feel great. I feel like shit. That's yeah. a lie. I was out drinking last night with some outlaw bikers. Oh, boy. Oh boy. Hey, it's... Kay, my new friends. Trading the caddy in for a Harley tomorrow. What? <laughs> right. You're joining a long. motorcycle gang? Do you want to borrow Club. Club. Do you want to borrow okay, my Sorry. motorcycle bag? I'm yeah, I'm going to borrow, Karen, your you guys, bag you and your wife. You guys are pretty impressive. <laughs> <laughs> your wife? Come on, Carolus. Make a sidecar that holds a bunch of kitty seats. <laughs> oh, yeah, not yet. <laughs> what? What does that mean? Huh? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I turned my volume down on my headset. Oh, turn your volume down? You could just say that. <laughs> oh, I didn't, want to, I didn't want to interrupt. Time's motioning and better? expecting us all to know what Tommy, that is means. That yeah, it's way better. The, okay. the yeah. I'm crazy sign to his head. That's what I thought he was saying. Yeah, I'm crazy, I'm crazy. No, no, no I'm just mad. Yeah, you got me? Yeah, but uh, anyway, yeah, I was out drinking last night because they're in Illinois starting tomorrow, which is the 14th or 15th, the day before St. Patrick's Day. It's Today is March 15th, tomorrow oh. is March 16th, and yeah. the day after that is St. Patrick's Day. And the bars will be closed. Yeah, for the two, March. till March 30th. All restaurants and bars in the state of IL, except for the lamplighter I'm hearing, 
Okay. It's not well, going to be close because there's going to be a lot of traffic. Yeah, well, Most some people don't go there. Our restaurant's open for care pickup, though. Yes, pickup. just yeah. no dining. Well, some. This is like the fucking know, be, Walking know. Dead or something. I don't know. Yeah, it's exactly, that's what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like zombie days or whatever it's, you call uh, it. It's a weird time, man. I've never seen this before. It's odd. Well, we stocked up on beer and... Uh, <laughs> Wait, from the Arnold? Yeah, from the Arnold. <laughs> oh, stocked. Beer and meat. <laughs> drink what's and Jack's day? pizzas. Yeah. <laughs> No toilet paper, or no, no, nothing else. Just, a, just a good, nothing but the essentials. Yeah. <laughs> Jack's pizza. It's the last of our dough, Karen. Just get nothing but the essentials: Jack's pizza, Miller Lite, and Tito's. I yeah. got meals popcorn. We've been eating nonstop. Love that I got meals popcorn. They got new flavors. Holy shit! Oh wow! I wish I could see some of that. Oh, I ate it all, Tom. <laughs> it's all gone. Sorry, bud. <laughs> Times are tough, buddy. Times are very tough. No giving out I got meals popcorn anymore. <laughs> Let's stay in our fucking house. Understood. Yeah. You never know when they might quarantine our ass. Right? Well, a lot of people, uh, I should say a lot of people, like office workers or whatever, they're all working. Everybody's working from home now. Yeah, well, not us. Except for, <laughs> you know, hospital workers, yep. prison guards, linemen, yep. cops. Yeah, we, I get checked every day before I go into work now. My Fire temperature... Fighters. But I got a list. Oh, I got a list. You have a list? Go yeah. on, Tom. Mm -hmm. Tom did some homework. Shippers? Post office? Merchant mariners? Mariners, Tom. Mariners. Longshoremen, HVAC, plumbers, electricians, and nurses, doctors, paramedic, firefighters, police officers, operators of every profession. Yeah. Everybody gets to stay home, crawl in their beds with 500 rolls of toilet paper. We're on the front line. Well, we're on the front line. Well, that's because you know why? Because I'm strong and you're weak. Uh -oh. oh, I think it's because of their job. But, all right. That could be true too. Yeah. Watch it, you almost knocked that sword over. Oh man. No. Sorry, I'm drunk. Give me a minute. Jesus. What are you drinking, Tom? Coffee. <laughs> Diet Dr. Pepper. And That's what I'm drinking too. Karen's slamming a beer right now. Yeah, I like. Um, my headphones were going to fall off when I tip my head back to drink my beer. I get like uh, messages now on Instagram, like people saying, um, like sending me pictures of drinking Diet Dr. Pepper and Tito's. Yeah, they, they, that, I, I forget, like, no one, like, that's not really a popular drink. No one really drinks that. <laughs> oh, shit, I got the fucking flu. <laughs> yeah, I've never heard of that before. Uh, Until like, you showed it to yeah, me. Yeah, right. That's, like, the only thing I get. People like it. Yeah, it's nobody cool. knows about it. And then the, everybody's, hey, look what I got. I got that coffee. Yeah, it tastes really coffee. good. Yeah. Yeah, it does. It's awesome. I love it. <clears throat> I was like, where'd that? I, I was like, I need some more vodka. <laughs> I got a little, I have a splash. We have I got like, some in the house. We have some down there too. I can't see it. We have a Tito's handle in like every room of the house. I, I don't know. know how you can't oh. find it. The vodka shortage of the Corona. Not happening. Not. I got four handles at home too. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, you did get stacked up recently. Yeah. Can you throw me another Diet Dr. Pepper? The sure. day the Arnold got canceled. Well, that night Tom and I just drank ourselves. The day the music the died. The day. He wakes up, he said, I want island drinks. So we have every kind of oh, rum, sorry. every kind of juice. We have more liquor than in mixers. And yeah, so when the Arnold got canceled, I already had the week off of work because I had to work extra to get that week off. Right. Well, then we just started drinking. Like, every day was a different drinking day. One day is island day, one day is beer day, one day is Tito day. I mean, listen, we were already planning on drinking and snacking and yeah, we, whatever. Arnolding. Arnolding? So then we just did it from home. Yeah, we did. It was fun. Arnold from home. Set up the booth in the garage. Yeah. Yeah, we set the booth up in the garage. I don't see that vodka anywhere there. God damn it, huh? I'm like running out too. No, yeah. like seriously, just. I got, I got this. It's, it's on the lower water. level of the bar. Well, I have my headset on. I can't just walk over there. I'm going to go ahead you and do suggest a front that. Karen, you, you the leave and please off. give me the Tito's. I vote Kim. Yeah, that is I right. I say we are wrestling wrestle for it. Well, you're not going to be able to get in because of the camera. <laughs> well, I got another bottle <laughs> sitting. We got another yeah. bottle sitting in the kitchen. That's true. It's, I got it out right All now. All right. Mute me. Mute me. Lazy oh, piece of shit. Remembered. Oh, damn. What, hold it. Put me back on everybody to say that. You lazy piece of shit. Okay, now. Uh, Karen, I am what you call the uh, talent here. <laughs> I have to stay here. I'm the backbone of this family. Yeah. You got your damn podcast. My God. Jeez. Now do a couple dishes in there while you're in there too, Karen. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> That's weird how our female following is so small. <laughs> well, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't wonder why. I have no idea why. Yeah. What were you telling me earlier to say for my? My products. What do you say about the women? This is too strong for women or something? Too strong for women? I said, women? Can, we can't say that. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll stick to your demographic. Yeah, and then you, you said, oh, thank you very much. Well, I figured either guys are going to like it if they think it's too strong for women, or women are going to want to prove them wrong and yeah, take it. Well, that's how women are. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know women. Everything's got to be perfect. This is not good. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, did you see, and speaking of women, did you see Karen's text message chained to me today? <laughs> it was like seven text messages that said now. At the time was now, 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 now. Stage 17 clinger on my hands. I was on the other line. Better than her texting someone else, buddy. No, that is true. Good, good query, Tom. <laughs> what? It's not a query. Oh, that's what Pappy used to say when he thought of something smart. That's what he used to tell me. Oh, good query, Tommy. I don't well, know if that had a good idea. Yeah. I'd say, oh, what about this, Pappy? And he goes, hmm, that's a good query, Tommy. I really don't know what the word means, but I know you say it for somebody said something smart. I have no idea what that word means. Ah. Can't get on the Google machine. Uh, I heard you got some kind of new workout. Good segue, Tommy. I like that kind of talk. It's right here. It arrived uh, earlier this week. It's called Let's Get Stupid Pre-Workout by my new brand, HFB Supplements. The first flavor is White Lightning. It's the first podcast pre-workout. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> the podcast, t-shirt, everything rolled up into one right here. Yeah. If you can picture Tom Finn in a pre-workout, this is it. The highest stim on the market, probably, I'd say. It's, if it's not, it's very fucking close. It's good stuff. Um, Cam loves it. Tastes good. Yeah, it tastes awesome. It mixes fucking great. Uh, the labeling is badass. Billy Rake did a great yeah, job. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, it stands out like a motherfucker. Um, yeah, and expect more fucking products coming out soon. Right now, I'm tasting the Aminos, which is going to be a branch chain Aminos, EAAs. Is that going to be a hangover mix? Yeah, it's coming down the line. We got it all coming, brother. But the next flavor of this will be called Prison Punch. So I'm looking forward to it. Gang Karen said that was. No. Yeah. I vetoed that. She vetoed. It kind of also sounds a lot like Gang Rape. It yeah, does. I was thinking of new flavors. Gang Grape was going to be one, but that was no go. <laughs> Inmate Orange was another one. Well, that's not bad. Yeah, it's some it's ideas. Good. Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> it's not good. It's not bad. And White Lightning is a good name. Yeah. Prison I, Punch, great name. my car's name, man. My yeah. 98 bottom. Red started. Thunder was my uh, truck. What are we talking about? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't remember. Too far I don't away. remember. Every time I get on this podcast, I get severely talked to you at a time, so I don't remember anything from any other podcast, that's except good. for the current one. So go to Huckfin Barbell. What is it? No, it's HFB. Supplements. Supplements. Dot com. Dot com. But also HuffinBarbell.com does sell supplement line. Yeah. Right? So that yes. main page sells all of your products. Yes. Buy meatheads for meatheads. Nope. nope. Kind of like FUBU, you know, for nope. us, buy us. We didn't yeah, go but, with that. Yeah, but Boomith. Yeah, but, but Boomith. <laughs> 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 Not FUBU, but what? Bimith. Bimith. Yeah. I went ahead and vetoed that. Was, that was a good I, idea. No, mm-mm. I like that one. Cam smoked a bunch of cigarettes and then thought of this idea. <laughs> Boom! Yeah. You know, forest bias, meatheads by meatheads. So I thought it was a great idea. Cigarettes, combing his mustache mm -hmm. over his lip. And why do you comb your mustache now, too? That's kind of. I never comb my mustache. I say you do it out there between sets. No, Should I, I go get him like a Barbie right? comb? Yeah, he's, he's comb it for real. I'm sure I have a lot. Yeah, of that. and then he fucking had a bunch of the pre-workout powder in there too, and I don't know, it looked like cocaine, but I guess it was the <laughs> let's get stupid pre-workout. Yeah, it, it, it gets you going. Oh, what were they saying earlier about that? About those fucking nerds that are running all these other businesses? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I got my nutrition and shit. Yeah, all these guys running these businesses are a bunch of fucking nerds. You guys are spending your money on a bunch of guys that can't even bench 500 fucking pounds. Don't even talk to me. Don't even talk to me. These fucking computer scientists or whatever you call them. Fuck science, fuck physics, and fuck math. That's right, make your nutritional decisions based on who can lift more weights. Exactly, Cam. Now you're talking. I'm with you. We, I, well, what I did was I doubled the dose, just like you said, on everything. Get double the shit. Make it strong as fuck. Get a good product out there. Snort it. Drink it. Shoot it. We've had a few people worried that you're in some lab doing the actual mixing of the chemicals <laughs> yeah. yourself. I'd like to rest, make everyone feel comfortable to know that you are not rest the one who assured, made, made the product. Just like every stupid fucking supplement company out there. We they, hired... Have a manufacturing company that makes your products. In Tank's grandma's house? Whoa. No. Whoa. <laughs> Tank with a bunch of white powder over it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right? Yeah, sure and then it is shipped to us, and we have a distribution like, like center that we into the... get it out to people, just like every goddamn major supplement product in the fucking world. So it's not made in uh, my shed or Tank's basement where he lies naked <laughs> and dreams of Jen Jen's feet. It is made in an actual manufacturing company, so it's too legit to quit. You just worked with them to develop. To tell them yes. to put it in. Well, I we worked on it for fucking like four months. Right. So. Pretty much told them to keep turning the gas up. Every yes. time I said this is not strong enough. It is going to be called Let's Get Stupid for a reason. 
It's not called, you know, let's get average. Crank row to No, it's called let's get fucking stupid. Let's get average. Yeah, let's get average. That's the next fucking pre-workout. Let's get mediocre. Yeah, let's get, you know, kind of average and, eh. you know, suck my blue collar cock. So, yeah, that's how it, and it came about, you know. I was always, I always wanted to have my own line, especially my own line of pre-workout. The yeah. stuff I use, pre-workout, protein, BCAs, you know, shit like that. Yeah, we've been talking about this for a while. But, and it finally came to fruit Yeah, I you know, give you all it? my ideas, you take them, you brand them your own, and you make money. Exactly! <laughs> That's the American way! Right? <laughs> God bless the USA! Damn it! Mm-hmm. Oh, and yeah, coming up next is those wrist straps. Yeah, I saw you got those in there. Did you see them yet? No. Cam saw them. Mm, I saw them from a, a distance. They're pretty good. Now. Yeah, they're fucking badass. He, uh, Matt from Pioneer Fit is uh, making them. And they turned out fucking great, dude. Yeah. So, a couple. by the time this podcast drops, what is it? When's it dropping? Two days? They'll be in this month. Okay, yeah, sometime this month. Sometime well, Karen runs the business. And another, another thing about the business. <laughs> I don't know shit about business. I'm a pretty good marketer. And I, I can't uh, fucking control a computer and shit. It? Karen control, fucking control computer. I don't know how to. Get, I can't. I can control a phone, you know, and put out stuff and say stuff into it, or look up, you know, pornographic material. Yeah. But I can't fucking run a business and put fucking stickers on there and say where it's going. I don't know any of that. You guys, <laughs> you guys ever watch Trailer Park Boys? No. He is Ricky. Ricky Bobby? No, it doesn't make any relation to you guys then. Huh? <laughs> no. Kevin, you got to speak up a little bit. I am talking louder, aren't I? Yeah, you're fine. Yeah. Yeah. So. Anyways, Karen does all that stuff and puts the labels on it, gets it chipped out. If your order's fucked up, which would probably be my fault. Oh, my God. I let him help me during the fake Arnold weekend. Yeah. He was... It's real to me, damn it! <laughs> he was pulling shirts off the shelves for me, and I'm packing them up. I had multiple emails like, hey, you guys sent me the right color shirt, but it's the wrong size. Like, he did a terrible job. Yeah, I know. It's so, sorry. I, sometimes I, you better do it yourself. I... Put the blame on Tom. I said, "Yeah, I, sorry, Tom." I Tom, took all got, responsibility. Real shirt. We were very, very fucking drunk by the end of that mm-hmm. night, mm-hmm. and there was a world's strongest dwarf here who was extremely intoxicated. Mm-hmm. Um, should we go into that story? I mean, that was wild. Yeah, we went I don't know if I should go into that story. What do you got? What's your opinion, guys? Yeah, you should. I mean, yeah. I should have brought it up. I guess if I should. A thousand percent. Yeah, you can't. This is a great job. story. Yeah. Darren, you want to start it off? Where should we start? So we got drunk or not. Okay, we so got... So we had fake Arnold here one no, night no, no, drunk. No, no. Then take... the next day we did the meet and greet. You know, that night we went to the bar. You, you're already fast forward way too much. <laughs> we rewind it. That <laughs> night, wait, wait, Friday wait. night, we get fucking drunk or hell. We go live for hours. And we're selling... Everybody, thank you for all the support. And everybody Maggie bought stuff. Maggie was over. So we got T-Rex wasted. Was over. We're drunk. We're in the fake Arnold booth passing out shit. And... Uh, I'm chugging tequila. I mean, we, we probably, he probably had 15, 20 beer. I mean, I somewhere in that range. Who um, the dwarf, Jared, Dude, if he had, had T-Rex power with Great dude. Dead. That's what I'm saying. He probably, had, he was keeping beer for beer for me for a while. I would say 15 beers at least. If I, I don't know. What do you think, Karen? You're out there. Yeah, but I was, dude, I was in my shipping quarter. <laughs> I was trying to work with you guys. Oh, then we fucking found, we yeah. have a Jack and Homeless tape that we found that night they as were, well. They were working by being live on the camera and handing me the wrong shirts. We've moved the time. Nice job, boys. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, so we get we wake up the next morning. I drink a shower of beer. It's 8.30. We have to go to the meet and drink, which you guys were at. Yeah. Um, and we start drinking again. And we left there, drank more at a bar. Correct? Yeah. I went out to eat. I went out to eat. And then what happened, Karen? Then we, we went to more bars. Then we went to more bars. And <clears throat> at this and Alburn. Elburn I L, and at this point he was pretty intoxicated. We all were kind of there. You wouldn't leave my poor friend alone. And Kelly Joe was there, who was a reality TV star. She was on the last episode for a little bit. Yep. He was hitting on her profusely, <laughs> and then he was saying, "Oh, these aren't strong enough. These double Jack and Cokes, or what is he drinking, Captain, Captain or something?" Anything. So we started ordering triple, so serving him giant pint glasses. At this point, Jesus. You know, he's behind the bar trying to make drinks. They're, they're letting him back there. Everything's like going okay. Laying on the ground half the time, like oh yeah, we did. You or yeah, we did the Oklahoma you. drill where we lay on our back, get up, and we hit each other. I remember. Uh, he was there. I was there, Tom. Oh yeah, you were there at that point. <laughs> were you there when he when we tried to pay and he couldn't pay? His card, because he's from out of state. He got so denied. His card was like 
You know, this kind of seems pretty suspicious. All right, fraudulent. Yeah. So, so I had to pay his. So I had to pay his bill. That's <laughs> fun. And then we we got out of there. Okay. We're driving to another bar. Karen. So. Picture this. I'm in the front seat with my friend who's driving a nice truck, like a sixty, seventy thousand dollar truck. We're driving to the next bar. I'm in the middle. I've got my friend Kelly on one side, and this guy is passed out on the other side. Yes. And he starts making like these weird dwarf noises, you know, <laughs> like. <laughs> No, well, uh, that's what I was. That's what I was hearing. I was hearing some weird noises. I didn't know what they were. And I hear you going, "Are you going to be okay?" And everybody's like looking back. If you're going to puke, tell us because you're going to pull over. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Like something like that, correct? Something like yeah, that. Yeah, but he was a lot more passed out than that. So he'd be like totally passed out and then making weird breathing noises, and I'd be trying to wake him up. Oh, it was like, breathing noises. It was oh. bad. And then he would startle into awake, and I don't like. He would like oh, this would happen to him only on me. It was like. What? Stop it! Like he kept like, like accidentally I'm, like oh yeah yeah like real high on my leg, but he's totally passed out. Just kept like lurching. Yeah, <laughs> Jesus, Callus, we're live. We talked is, about lost. Your cock is by your knee. Yeah, it was fucking impressive. Uh, it's the the uh, dwarf's cock's by his knee. And I knew it was gonna be bad. We all knew it was gonna be bad. What were you gonna do? We've got to get to the next bar. We have to get to the next bar. <laughs> we have to get to the next bar. There's no option. At this it, point. And we're on a, we're so, on the so back. All way. of a sudden, all of a sudden, I look over and it's just like drizzling, like gurgling, like a yeah, like a volcano like a kind volcano of into his no. beard. Oh, Vomit. No. <laughs> he wished. Forgot about that. I'm screaming for, pull, to pull. Pulls over. it over immediately. I jump out. I'm trying. To, <laughs> Karen boots him out. <laughs> I pretty much catch him so he doesn't <laughs> land on the ground. <laughs> So I immediately get vomit on me and my shoes oh, and brand new shoes no. and everything. He's yelling. We're in a field. I pushed a short guy out of a really big truck. He's like, hey, there's a full drop for him. Karen is yeah, really Yeah, luckily small. I caught him because he was at the point of passed out drunk. It was bad. But we, I mean, everything, he got out. But then all of a sudden I'm like, holy shit, I don't think he's fucking breathing. I'm getting nervous at this point. So I'm like. Did make, he vomit? Oh, he was vomiting, but it was on himself. And so you just let him lay on his back? <laughs> no, they look right. He was on that's the side. Like, that's what you do. If someone is sick, you put him on their back and put him on the bed. Because it's natural. <laughs> no, it's belly. Oh, yeah, it's belly. Yeah. I did that one time in college. There was someone who was sick. I go, it's fine. Just put him on his back. We'll be fine. I go, oh, wait <laughs> a second. No, put him on his stomach. <laughs> the opposite. I go, my bad. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So he was fine, but he was like, his eyes are closed. He's like sleeping. So like, Jared, we got to get you up. Because we gotta, we're in a ditch right now. And we got to get the fuck out of here. No one needs any DUI. No, so no we get we get him up. We get him in the back seat on his belly. The girls come up front with me, and we take off to the next bar. <laughs> I forgot about that. So we take off to the next bar. We pull in. You know, Jared's on his belly. Everything's fine. He's breathing. You know, he's just drunk and passed out. So we just went to the bar. So what we, bar did you go to? Pub. The pub. Oh, Hinkley. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um. And we go in there, and every beer, I'd go out there and check on to make sure everything's fine. You know, are you okay? He's just, yeah. he's just laying in the back of the truck? The no, we have him inside because it was too cold out to be outside. The two guys kept taking turns like, no, I checked on the last. You go check on him. So we spent an hour and a half in there, and we get, we get liquored up some more and decide it's a good idea to now go to a house party afterwards. Mm -hmm. So here we go, traveling to a house party with Jared in the back, still passed out drunk. <laughs> All right, so now we're in the house, like a bi-level house or split level, what it's called, you know? We're sitting at the bar. So you can see going downstairs, upstairs, and you can see the enter in the door. Right. We're all bullshit, and you go, I can't believe Jared's still passed out drunk. All of a sudden the door opens. Ah! It's fucking Jared. You're alive! He's alive. Doesn't say a word. He's never been in this house. Hell, I've been in the house only one time. I don't even know where the bathroom's at. Jared goes right downstairs, doesn't say a word, goes shower. into the shower, gets naked. A guy's <laughs> peeing in there, does not know Jared's there. What? Oh, I didn't hear that. Yeah, part. the guy that was peeing there. is urinating in the toilet. A guy we don't know. And Jared walks into the shower. So imagine a dwarf goes in there and gets naked and takes a shower I mean, while you're peeing. We don't know because it wasn't our house. The the homeowners knew who he was. Yeah, the home, but we didn't know him and Jared didn't know him. Right. Like, and he Jared didn't know Jared. Right. He didn't know yeah. Jared. Yeah. Another guest of the party exactly. was peeing and, and Jared he just. Got some mushrooms or something. <laughs> right. You're peeing all of a sudden. A dwarf walks behind you into the shower. Covered that in vomit. Don't know. Don't yes, know. covered in vomit. <laughs> And not like say, it gets in the shower, take a shower. So Mackie, you know, the mechanic, my mechanic goes down there, checks on him with a towel and talks to him. And, and he's like, hey, come on upstairs. He's like, I can't, I don't have a shirt, blah, blah, blah. And Mackie goes, well, would it make you feel better if I took my shirt off too? So then Mackie and him both come up shirtless now at this point. And, and, the, and they come upstairs and then they start smoking cigarettes and drinking again. 
And he starts partying again like nothing happened. Yeah, shower fix you right up. Two and a half, three hours ago, the guy was fucking almost dead. Those cigarettes will do it. And now he's back, back at it again. I didn't even Hit. Say three hours ago. I mean, it two was, hours. Yeah, it was not that long. He arose from the dead. He started partying again. And he's hitting on Kelly Joe again. Oh, lucky her. Yeah. So eventually, after about another it's hour like of this three nonsense, in the morning. we, all we go, go home. back home. Okay. Everybody's drunk. I'm still coherent enough to know what's going on. He's responsible, Tom. He's in charge. Yeah, I've never he been in charge, in charge of my life. I went to bed and he and was And I had started drinking at like 8 in the morning. So <laughs> I get Karen to bed. I get her a water or whatever, you know. And uh, I don't know, phone, whatever you needed. Water. And you you go to bed and I go back out and I'm talking to Kelly Joe and um, Jared. He puts, like, he puts Kelly Joe in like the living room and yeah. then Jared in the family room. So there's like several rooms to well, get yeah. apart. So I got him in like a little blanket bed area and I tell him, I go, He's tucking them in. Jared, you do not leave this fucking room. And if you do, my wife is going to kill you. <laughs> and he goes, oh no, oh no, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Okay, that's good. All right, Kelly Joe, see you. You're, you got that couch. Yeah, she goes, I go back to bed. Not 30 seconds, I get into bed. I mean, I just roll over, put my phone on its stand. And it lights up. Kelly Joe, SOS, help me now. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? So I go out, out out to the living room. Here's fucking Jared on the couch with Kelly Joe hitting on her profusely again. Yeah, and I go, no. Jared, you son of a bitch, get the hell out. I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed. <laughs> he went to bed and that was the end of it. He's a nice guy. Oh, no, T-Rex is the best. I He's love the him. best. Let's make sure that that's known in the story. No, no, no. I love T-Rex. He is a great He's friend. A nice guy. And it was fucking hilarious, and it's a fucking night. It's I'll never, story. ever, ever forget. It's ever. Not. And I had a fucking great time, but I'll never forget it. I mean, he got as loaded as I was at the Arnold that one night when he had to carry me back. And then I had to carry him back. That's what brothers do. Yeah, no big deal. Well, no, we had a good time. Holy shit, was that fucking... Yeah, I like being in that uh, bar in Elburn because it was like small town bar. Yeah, it was like it wasn't dead, but it was like you know, there's not that many people in it. it was right, like perfect. So you can talk and shit. When I went out last night, it was like it was like fucking so many people in the fucking bar. I hated me. Everybody's bumping into each other. Oh. It, like, it takes forever to get a drink. No, fucking I like where you let the guy go behind the bar and get his own drink. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. That's my kind of bar. But yeah, that was one hell of a night. And the next morning, like a good dude, Jerry goes over and cleans up my buddy's truck because mm-hmm. he made a mess in it. He went and cleaned it all out. Everything's good. And then off to Iowa, he went. So, until next time, my friend. I don't know how you're going to top that one. Yeah, because he lives far away. He's a couple hours away. He just kind of shows up and whirlwinds happen and then he just disappears. Yeah. Well, he used to be uh, like a a stand-up comedian. He used to open up for like Carrot Top and shit. Yeah. He's got some good stories. He also used to, uh, he lived like Vinnie Paul, the guy from Pantera. So, he he used to party. He, He can party. So, no wonder he fucking passed out. And then fucking re, re- rallied. rallied again and then partied again because, I mean, he, par- he partied with some of the best parties of all time. Man, I wish you would have told some of those stories when he was on the podcast. Well, I don't even remember the podcast. Well, we had him at the end. So we kind of like shoot him away like real quick because we didn't have enough time. That's try one of these going. I was very hungry. Tom was, Cam was yelling at me. Can we go, I was, can we Tom's go going like this. Let's cut so it. I, I keep bringing it up. I go, no. First, we got to get this guy on. No, no, Tom. I was hungry. Uh, Alex was hungry. Oh, so your girlfriend was yelling at you. So that's well, listen, why we had if to she's go. hungry, I'm really hungry. <laughs> so it's like a team effort. Got to eat. <laughs> Good input, Cam. You so <laughs> uh, Well, she's hungry. That means I'm hungry. Got to eat. <laughs> it's a team effort. <laughs> yeah, Cam never or Cam never showed up. Cowboy Cam never showed up that night either. Yeah, you no, said you're coming. He back really pushed break. out. I'll tell you that. Yeah. I'll tell you one guy that didn't push out was T Rex. I'll tell you one guy that did push out, Cowboy Cam. <laughs> showed up. Now, if Cam would have did a, a T Rex, I would have been very proud of him. A cat had vomited in the apartment. And, uh, Ew. I don't uh, throw it out. I don't do what? Well, That's what I said. <laughs> what do you want? You want a cat vomiting or T Rex? I'd pick T Rex any day. I'd pick T Rex vomiting. Yes. Do you yeah. have any, did anyone throw up in your watch that night? That night. Amber. No, she was fine. No, she was fine. Don't she? Do I wasn't that drunk. She wasn't that drunk. I drove home, so I. Definitely wasn't that drunk. Yeah, well, I felt like shit the next morning. I'll tell you that. I don't think I felt as bad as T-Rex, though. Probably not. <laughs> That's a story that will live in infamy, my friend. We'll be telling that story in 20 years. <laughs> yeah, some good pictures on that, man, too. I guarantee you the people in Hinkley, well, they never see anything like that in their life. <laughs> <laughs> what in the hell is going on here? Yeah, I like that bar. That brown pub. 
Mm-hmm. It's nice. You did like live music there too. Well, uh, speaking of Brown Pub, my good friend jacked and homeless was thrown out of there for life for tackling a guy through a glass plate window. Really? And that really? guy I did not know was, was the it? guy who fixed my ceiling. That's another story. <laughs> He's a contractor oh, in yeah. town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They like Great one. There. Yeah. Yeah, so... I always knew the story. He's always kicked out. We he knew ate. the story of how he was kicked out. We just didn't know he threw through the window. Well, I'll tell the story. So, like It takes like 30 seconds. He comes in. The guy that got kicked, uh, that he put through the window, was talking to a girlfriend of his or some friend, like a girl. Yeah. And he told him, don't talk to her or something. And he goes, well, I'm fucking 30 years old. I'll talk to whoever I want to. That's a good point. And then it ensued and then fucking ended up having Jack almost throwing it through a plate glass window. Oh, my God. So carry on. So we hire a contractor to redo one of our rooms in our house, and three days into the job, he said, hey, did Stevie ever tell you the story about uh, Brown Pub, how he got kicked well, out? Yeah, I'm Yeah, that was me. Yeah, I was the guy who threw the window. I was the guy who threw the window. He's very proud of me. I was like, holy <laughs> shit, are you serious? I've heard this story a hundred times. I never knew who the guy it's was. It's so funny to move into a small town, and then everyone has connections in different right. ways, and I was the guy who did this, or I was that guy. And... Uh, good dude, and they were, they were still friends after oh, yeah. that, too. It wasn't totally like... Fun. Because they had known each other since they were like little kids. But, yeah, that was a story. Brown Pump, good good yeah. bar. <laughs> Great bar. Yeah. Dirty Dancing was playing that night as but well. But now, since all the bars in Illinois are closed, uh, Karen's going to open up Karen's Corner to the general public. Fuck that. Well, we just got to keep that Karen's. down low, you know. We can't be telling everybody that because we can get in trouble mm-hmm. from the government. That's fine. We government can tell about it. What, what did we us. figure out? It was um, Kill F. Ranch. Yeah, that Chris Ledoux song. Now nah, we're fucking the something at the Cadillac yeah. Ranch. Yeah. Like, no, 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 the song. The, the country song? Oh. Where, like, their farm isn't doing very well, so they mm-hmm. just We got a bar in the, the back, and the place stays packed. Yeah, yeah I think his dad just sits around smoking cigars. Yeah, now we call it the Cadillac Ranch. Mm-hmm. The barn Elgin. <laughs> that fucking old shit hole. Yeah, it's like the cowboy Cadillac, the Cadillac something. You think it's called yeah, Cadillac Ranch? It's Cadillac Ranch, yeah. yeah. I've been there a few times. It was open at like 4 in the morning, that's why. Yeah. Bars are closed. That's where Cam Needham's mom goes. She goes to those country bars. She open. fucking follows she me now. I'll go to Cadillac Ranch. Well, what's she the other one in Naperville? Saddle up some. Saddle up. Uh, uh, so you're looking for somebody to line dance with. Mom, look for uh, Lady in Blue Blockers. <laughs> blue Blockers, <laughs> uh, a mustache, mustache she and a, just, uh, a jean jacket. Pocket tea. All denim. She's just dancing on Ladies Night at Saddle Up. That's what she does. Was that Wednesdays? That's what she does. <laughs> well, when she's in, when she's in the Midwest, oh. she travels a lot. Traveling lady, Jesus. She travels a lot. When, when she's, she's in the she's Midwest, not, when she's not traveling. She's at uh, Saddle Up Wednesday night. <laughs> Wednesday night, Saddle Up Saloon, Naperville. I L B there. We used to live by that bar. Start yelling, Cam's mom. Cam's mom, are you here? She'll answer that. Yep. <laughs> She'll answer to that. Yep. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to be there this Wednesday. Oh, shit, it's going to be closed. It's closed, man. That's what that sucks. Oh, like, you take plans to. Maybe you can't do anything now. What are we going to do, Tom? Like, all the kids' stuff's closed. Kids can't go anywhere. Mm-hmm. Uh, nothing. All you can do is go to, like, Target. And That's going to be closed. Empty yeah. shelves. Or but, garage gyms. Or garage gyms. Thank God I got my own gym. Right. No kidding. I know, that would be terrible. That's probably the next thing to go. Our garage? No, <laughs> oh, the big gym, the commercial oh, gym. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, Smaller gyms, be. but like commercial gyms. I think it's going for sure. Well, I think I, everything's going. I took the Lysol in with me when I squatted today, and in between sets, I'm like wiping down. Well, that's because Cam doesn't wear shoes in there. Dumbbells and barbells. Cam's got black shoes walking on the place. What's that? It didn't hurt me. I need to do it. You're correct. Oh, she likes to clean, Cam. Damn it. I'll tell you what, the floor cleaning. was Letter. excessively sticky. The floor was disgusting. I don't what know did what you spilled do? on the floor. There are multiple it spills. So There's like oh, it's a corona powder beer. everywhere. Was, I snorted a bunch of uh, Let's Get Stupid. Uh, and weird. then I fucking drank a bunch of Corona. Or whatever. I'm, I'm and then that CBD oil. It's mostly on the floor. Well, yeah, I probably missed my mouth, but yeah, that's what was on the floor. <laughs> I, I missed my mouth. sticky on my bare feet. And it's getting kind of personal, Cam. Don't tell anybody about that. <laughs> Oh, they cleaned man. everything but the floor, so it sucks mm. for your feet. Yeah, I don't mind. Now, there's been a lot of people wanting to come to Karen's Corner and the shed now because everything's getting closed down. Are you going to... What are you going to do? <laughs> not, mean, they, not they, have anybody here? They weren't invited before there was a disease in the world. Well, Why would they we, be invited now? Oh, well, because it's a moneymaker. N- no, we've got enough money to not get Corona. There's never enough money. I'll take the Corona. <laughs> 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 Probably fine. Yeah, right? Camp says they were reacting. It's fine. Yeah. 
Cam hasn't even put oh, yeah. shoes on yet. He's not worried. Mm -hmm. The minute Cam puts shoes on, <laughs> yeah, they'd be very worried. If Cam starts wearing shoes, we're fucked. Yeah. It's a nice thing you're on Instagram. Well, I'm trying to look at the fucking one thing. Uh, the thing we always look at. The notes? I was looking at the notes, but it was for somebody else. Yeah, because we were supposed to have different Because the world we shut down. And yes. So, people don't yeah. travel anymore. No, it fucks us. No, it's fucking the podcast. Yeah, well, it's, it's fucked... Uh, it's fucked the fitness community. It's fucked the bars. I mean, my fucking life is over. I mean, that's my whole life. My that's life, my rock. My life is in shambles. It is. Uh, uh, fucking Arnold got shut down. There's three grand down the drain. Now the bars are getting shut down. You can't. You sort of hermited your way away, though. Huh? Fitness in the bar is your life. And then you built a gym in your backyard and a bar in your garage. Well, thank God. Yeah. I mean, we were prepared. Yeah, I mean, you always prepare. It's doomsday, Cam. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We're doomsday preppers. You're bar. Ready. You're ready. And beer. shed and beer, <laughs> shed and shed with weights. I mean, if we didn't have that, I don't know what I'd do. And you have food that gets shipped to you. You know what is it? Sex, booze, and weightlifting. If you take all three of those away, you might as well just fucking bury my ass. Family. Well, now family. I guess you can add on that stuff. <laughs> but I'm saying, you know, that's that was uh, that's family uh, pre-workout. Yeah, there would have been no family without sex. Oh, okay. Right, that's true. So, that's how it happens. That's, that's it. Those are the three things. So, but I still have them, even though it's like the end of the world or whatever we're talking about. It's we like just, the end of the world. Well, that's what I heard. Just trying to contain a disease or whatever this is. Virus, whatever the fuck you call it. Slow the spread. Flatten the curve. Slow the spread. Oh, I don't know. I talked to somebody today who was a scientist. And <laughs> yeah, because you work with a lot of scientists. You talk to a scientist? Yes, and they said, they said, if you get this disease, your whole insides are going to blow up like the atomic bomb. I've never heard that one. I heard that today, and they're not, they're protecting that from the general public. Yeah, so your insides explode. Just like an atomic bomb would do. I don't know. My brother's a doctor. He didn't say anything about that. I love oh, when he's protecting home, me. Tom comes home from the prison. He said, listen, I have accounting advice for you. Listen, I have medical advice for you. I said, you just came from a prison. Like, who who am I taking that from? Are you like your coworkers who are prison workers like you or your the inmates? I said, Tom. No, I'm Callus. talking about well, <laughs> I said Tom Callus. That's my go-to. I call him up, he tells me, and I tell you. No, no. And then I pretend it's my own. <laughs> <laughs> I said, listen, I got some stuff about our business. If we do this, we can write this off and this. And like, who'd you hear that from? Tom Callus. A lot of tax write-offs. Exactly. I don't think we're doing enough. I think we're giving up way too much money to the government. Yep. That's what it's all about. Yeah. Keeping your money. Mm -hmm. Now what, Karen? <laughs> I, I, I keep my point. I still think right. <laughs> I keep my point. All right. Let's move on, Callis. All right. Well, we're getting uh, two weeks off work here soon. Who right? is? They're going to lay off everybody. No one's going to go to work. Everybody's going to stay in their houses. That's no, the next step. They can't. Well, Prison can't shut down. Yeah, it can. Inmates will be fine. Somebody has to be there. I and mean, you might, get, so he's sick. you might get to shut down. There's no way. People no, need power. No, people need power to survive. Yeah, but... Wouldn't that be nice though? Because well, not like getting the disease, but you get two. Like they said, well, if you had the disease, you thought you'd get like two weeks off work. Like, you get to well you now, do. like you're at home working too, getting paid. Well, people, yeah. Well, not like us. even if you have yeah, a fever, so, and then they don't want yeah. you. Like no, it's okay. You don't even use your sick days. Just don't come to work. I feel we'll like I have still. a fever right now. You always do. Yeah, no. You're just trying to get out of work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I was like, how could I make myself have a fever? It's a start. If I can get it up to 100, I'm out. Really hard and flex. Yeah. Blood up to uh, the yeah, Check your temperature after you bench. There you go. Does that make your fever go up? Uh -huh. Take like I'm three scoops of that pre workout. Yeah, yeah, that would probably, yeah, that would probably <laughs> get a fever. Yeah, that would kill me. Hope for blood pressure, for sure. Yeah. Yo, you've had very high blood pressure once I heard. Cam was the most unhealthy <laughs> person I've ever had. One of the most unhealthy. One time he had like 190 over like 150. And then, I don't think it was that, but it was high enough they sent me home from an internship. <laughs> well, didn't you? Don't you get headaches? So it's like your it. first like. He said he gets headaches if he doesn't eat the right, if he eats the wrong food now. Sometimes. Lately, <laughs> if he eats it, too much healthy food well, no, no, and not no, enough no. like fat. Lately, not enough butter. That uh, like I don't eat a lot of or often, uh, especially. <laughs> Seems like carb stuff, like if I eat a lot of bread or something, if I go out to eat. He gets headaches. Um, I'll get a headache. Yeah, I get like a, my gut, like, I get like so bloated, like I get a headache. <laughs> I don't think that's how that works. What? Yeah. Have you never had that? From Well, you never had that? <laughs> you think I eat to the point of getting bloated at restaurants regularly? I have no, multiple I times. I, well, every time. But if I eat a lot of something I'm not used to. Mm -hmm. So I've been doing a lot of like rice and ramen and stuff. But if I don't, if I eat, you know, 
get a hold of a tube of bagels or something. Uh, two bagels? <laughs> what are those bags? You know, six a bag? Bag? If I don't get a hold of like a tube of bagels, <laughs> like a pounded cream cheese. Yeah. Yeah, then we got problems. I'm get a headache. If I eat a hurts. loaf of bread, it'll feel good. Yeah, if I don't yeah. get like a tube Weird. of bread. I'm gonna start how. calling uh, loaves of bread tubes of bread from now on. <laughs> hey, give me a tube of tube of bread over there, would you? Yeah. You need some tube steak. You need some tube steak, Cam. <laughs> Cam loves tube steak. Oh yeah, he's a big fan of tube steak. For all you gentlemen out there. <laughs> That's not good. I took Tom to one of those fancy Brazilian steakhouse, mm -hmm. like where they eat all the meat. Gel? I don't know, but the uh, whatever one of the other ones. He almost died. I went to like that one recently. Like he doesn't know how. He like he's a dumb dog. And well, like, it was bad. Oh, more meat, he's a more dumb meat. Dog. <laughs> I went. I went to that recently, and it was it was bad. It's so bad. Well, I never he turned thought, my car the other way. He was going to die down. in the car. The Karen way. was done after like thirty minutes, and we were there for like three hours. We, and she's staring at me while I just keep eating. <laughs> we just recently went Lucky to lady. Two weeks ago. Well, I, two weeks I, ago. Yeah, I had to. Weekend ago. Oh shit! Coronavirus. Shut up. I just said yes to every piece of red meat. Any chicken or sausage. Get that out of here. Oh, yeah. He, Every piece of red meat said yes. He was like, was oh, left. if it was like the higher quality, the best ones. Oh, yeah, I still need something to have. Uh, oh, yeah, no, I had to lay, I seriously laid terrible. down in the back of the vehicle all he the way did. home. I couldn't even sit in the front seat. I was seat. in a lot of pain going home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What, did you, what, what, what did you wear there? A What's the outfit? A de oh, I got a denim shirt that is one of those like real like fat guy cuts. <laughs> where like it's short enough, but it's huge. Okay, that sounds like awful just wore, look. <laughs> no, it was awesome because I could see, uh, there was like no tension, just felt airy and loose. You had a denim shirt on? Yeah. So you open your pants? Denim? Jeans. What about your coat? I didn't wear a coat. Kim won't wear it. He won't go out without jeans on no matter where he goes. He's got denim socks. Even if he goes to the gym, <laughs> he's not going to wear like, you know, sweats or whatever you wear. I do wear jeans to the gym. If I'm sitting at short, if I'm sitting in gym shorts at my house and I'm driving 10 minutes to the shed to lift weights, I put, I put on. jeans on to drive here to change back into shorts. In, in case somebody has a flat tire or something, you never know what happened. You have to like jump into action. He has, has his jeans on. You never know. What happened as soon as soon as I told you that? No, that was the best thing ever. Somebody had a flat tire. We bought a truck. Yeah. And then we were going to a mall. And I told you, I go, you can't be running around in gym shorts anymore. You got a truck. You're going to have to help people. Yeah. And then we went to the mall. And what happened on we the way? We fixed an old lady's tire. Yeah. So and I, I go, thank God, Cam, you got those jeans on. Yeah. Now you say we. You can't say get you watched that. Cam and you recorded that is, him. I that is not true. Tire. I did help. He was totally incapable of doing anything on his own. But... If you set a jack up in front of him and tell him to turn a handle for a certain, and you put it in the right spot, and you remind him seven times man, which way to turn, the man can turn. He righty loosey, lefty tighty, yeah. <laughs> or opposite, whatever the fuck it's called. Yeah, now we didn't stick around to see if you know things started falling off of her car mile down the road. Yeah, probably. He, tightened, he fell tightened off. some of the lug nuts where there's no promises there. Yeah, but well, who said real men are dead, Tom? Exactly. <laughs> I don't wear jeans everywhere I go, though. Tell you that right now, Kim. That's kind of funny. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. You have to put it right to the microphone. You squirted it all up. over me. It'll pick it up, really. Yeah, I know. Hold on, hold on. Can you hear me open mine? Yeah. That is good. Yeah, and that, I didn't that, spill on my neighbor. Yeah, my, yeah, my neighbor. You appreciate that. Yeah, mine was like fucking appreciate. 3D. <laughs> <laughs> He's upset that two drops of beer hit him in the shoulder. I never. He even, routinely pours beer down his shirt. Like, mm -hmm. All over himself. Mm -hmm. Just the other day, I was telling a story about Tom, like. Oh yeah, he doesn't know how to do anything. He goes to Tom Kellis' house when he needs an oil change. <laughs> yeah, he does. Who yeah. are you telling this to? Karen? Every five thousand. Every five thousand huh? miles. I don't remember. Well, we also need to detail it again. So, yeah. Who? Yeah, who are you telling this to? I don't remember. Hey. Everyone that'll listen. Anyone that. Yeah. Listen to me, lady. I've got guesses, but I don't. Yes, the mailman. <laughs> Speaking of that coronavirus, your mom's got a good idea. Karen's mom owns a. Uh, what do you call it? Oh, that? golf course. A golf course yeah, down in Athens, Tennessee. So if you're ever in Athens, Tennessee, go visit uh, White, Oaks. White Oaks Country Club. Or not Country Club. White golf Oaks course? Golf Course. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what it's called. And uh, ask for the Huck Finn Special. <laughs> okay, so that's not the idea. What was the idea? I forgot. So in case you need to get quarantined in the event that you Oh, yeah, sick, yeah. She's going to set up like these. She'll, like, she'll buy a tent for each hole. Because they're not getting as much business because, you know, coronavirus. For like two so, weeks or four weeks. So whatever, for that 14 days, like, you could just live at whole nine. They'll they'll drop off beer and hot dogs, like, at your... What else do you need? You can keep playing, so everybody be quarantined, but so there'll be 18 to, like, people. Get really good at that. No, 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 you have to stay at your hole. I thought you could still play the course because she said you could hunt fish there, too. 
She said you can hunt, you can fish, and play golf, but only yeah, eighteen no, to places to live. Mm-hmm. I don't think you say your hole. That's not what quarantine means. You're too good for your hole. <laughs> Damn it, Paul. Either way, it's a good idea. Mm-hmm. I think about flying down there. Good luck. Yeah. Haley was flying out today and kept canceling the flight because like there's not enough people, so they're like they don't want to pay for the fuel. They're not gonna lose money. Oh, yeah. yeah. So then like they'll cancel flights and pretty soon like I forgot about that. Like, oh, plane's getting canceled. There might, the they, they might limit. Well, shit, we'll go under too, man. Uh, interstate travel. We'll go under where? They'll go under. Planes will go under. Water? No, they'll go under. They won't be around. They'll be like their business will go under. Are you trying to well, say that? I'm sure they'll come back. Yeah. Well, what if this fucking thing, this walking dead virus? You're right. Uh, the coronavirus is going to kill all planes for everybody. <laughs> no <laughs> more air travel. Air travel's done. As we know it, guys. You heard it from Finn. Pull your stocks out of Southwest, United. I did immediately. He, he probably I mean, I, was advised at the prison. I've still got Biden two flights. Made. We're still Alex and I still have flights in Airbnb in Georgia. You're not going anywhere. In a couple of weeks, but I got I real get, smart, you better, Cam. You better get Moby tuned up. I do you're not driving. think. Uh, yeah, I I am doubting we're gonna get on a plane and go there. I'm doubting you're even gonna be allowed out of the state, you idiot. They're yes. locking the borders down too. No, they're not locking the borders. Oh, I heard the national guards locking the borders down. People aren't gonna be able to leave the state. That's not how doesn't it works. Uh, doesn't sound like do like fifty percent facts. Yeah, Finn's like one percent. <laughs> I'm one hundred percent factual. Cam Newton. <laughs> you mean that never Yeah. For I what? Think, I think that statement proves you're not factual. You're bullshit. What are you getting over here? Drinks. What the fuck is that? I found it by Cam's bag. Oh, I wonder what that, that could be. Peanut M and M. Yes. Can't eat it. <laughs> Cam's dropping M and M's. Jesus Christ. I mean, it's a little chipped on one side from hitting the garage floor, but you can still eat it. Interesting. What do you think I have coronavirus on my garage floor? You get in a fight last night, Tom, at the bar? No. Tom usually gets in fights at bars, so I was just... Nope. Huh? Yeah, you hang out with uh, bikers and you don't get in fights. Maybe you just need to hang out with bikers more often. Yeah, it's true. Your crew didn't look tough enough before. I guess so. Yeah, walk around Cowboy Cam on his bare feet. I was not there that time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit! So you get a bare feet, my dad called me today. Happy. Yep. He'll be on episode 20. He called in. How many more episodes? He's. This is six, six. more episodes. Okay. He called in fucking late eight full challenge out to you. You want to hear what the challenge is? Are you up to this challenge? This is an epic challenge. He's flexing already. Uh, he's trying to flex. I gotta hear the challenge because so he sh- bikes a lot. He said this. He said, You tell Cowboy Cam I will challenge him to a foot off. Kel, you know, Pappy does not wear shoes what anywhere. Is a foot off? That means his feet will be dirtier than yours at the end of the summer. Oh, guaranteed. At the end of the summer? Not a chance. Have you seen Peppy's feet seen turn a different color? Have like, you seen his feet? He's like Shrek feet. They're like green and dirty. He does not. Time. He will. He will not wear Do shoes I have for. To throw a heel up here for the video. Oh. I got cracks well. so deep in my heels you could stick dimes in them. I'll have dirt <laughs> in there. I'll have dirt in there for <laughs> three it. inches down. Okay, Pappy has vowed to, he, he's going to lay money on the line. Let's see it, Cam. Now. He did say that to Alex, me. I swear to God. Alex, I'm sorry. <laughs> She's not going to like that at all. But I dirty don't. feet. You know what that means? Dirty dick. What? <laughs> I don't know about that. You mean you don't wrap? If you're not wrapping your feet in socks, you're not wrapping your cock with a condom. Well, making those dirty? Dirty. well, that's not going to make no, it dirty. dirty. Cam's dirty. That's not true. But what does get dirty, when your feet get real dirty, you have to shower every night before bed or your bed gets dirty. I hear that sometimes oh, you go into Alex's clean bed. sheets with dirty feet. How'd you sheets? hear that? Yes. Alex told me. Yeah, you want to know what else oh, happened? Like, like, just she, like she had just changed yeah. the sheets mm-hmm. and then like that, he just immediately went that in there happens. and leaved with his dirty feet in there. Worse. I am going through sheets like a crazy person because Ew. I sleep on my back. And my heels are so, are getting calloused and like, uh, you know. You're like rubbing holes the, in your shoes? Yes. Oh, I'm wearing out I holes feel in like my you shoes. Should spend more what? Sheets. <laughs> I've never heard of anything like this. I never heard of anything like before, but I was washing my sheets the other day. I go, Jesus Christ, what's up? How do you have a girlfriend? Just, no, it's just through I've also heard that his penis smells terrible. Well, that part's not true. That was from Alex. Told Alex, me that. That's not true. And confidential. <laughs> she pulled you aside one day. Hey, Cam's dick smells like shit. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like Bigfoot's dick. <laughs> Fucking, you think his feet smell bad? Have you ever fucking gone down <laughs> on that guy? <laughs> no. Counter. No, the they gotta have it. His feet might be dirty, but they don't smell. I would be really good at shoes. Because they're so aired out. They're never in shoes, right? They don't get sweaty. I don't That's get like point. sweaty and steamy and soft socks. I'm, I'm and thinking shoes. that you don't have the flexibility to smell your own feet. <laughs> There's no you way in hell he can. No, no. Sometimes no people take their shoes off smell. and you can immediately smell stinky feet. Yep. Stinky, right? Me, 100%. Well, right. Well, after your work boots have been on? Yeah, yeah. But I don't get that. Oh, yeah. Especially in the summer, my work boots stink like hell. Yeah, but 
Maybe they will this summer because I'm done. I'm not going to wash them this summer if I'm going to have to. You're on a out. challenge. I mean, yeah. <laughs> this is going to be one hell of a challenge. There's going to be mushrooms growing out of these. <laughs> oh, God. That's terrible. <laughs> He's going to have mushrooms going out of his feet. Cam now, that is hardcore. Cam versus Pappy. Yeah, it's odd. What's the bet for? I think August 1st. You guys have no, a few. No, hours. he wants to know what he's going to win. What am I winning? Well, it's 500 bucks. No, it's just not like, fun. I want no. like a fun thing. He wants My like. My brother and I used to do the phone book. No, what? That's not a thing. That the fuck's a phone, phone book, you idiot? You smack him with the phone book if you win. Who still makes phone You're books? You're going to hit Pappy with the phone book? No, I'm very young. 67 years no, old, for Christ's sake. I'm Pappy with the phone book. <laughs> There's the not phone, book. phone books anymore, Cam. Oh, yeah, we didn't grow, John and I didn't grow up are you, yesterday. Are you kidding me? He's got phone books buried in his backyard for the last 10 years. <laughs> He's got his, his uh, weapons cabinet. He's like, his gun. <laughs> his phone book. His nunchucks. <laughs> his phone book. Yeah. Shooting stars. Mm -hmm. How about this? If I win, shooting stars. How about this? If I win, Pappy gets a tattoo of my name on his Pappy's feet. Pappy's not getting tattooed. And if he wins, I'll get on a tattoo feet? of Pappy on my foot. Yeah, but who's going to tattoo that nasty ass foot? You're I know, yeah. Billy Rake! Billy Rake is too good for that. I know, just the man. Wash it up and then you get the tattoo. Oh, yeah, you get definitely get it videoed. We pedicure your feet, everything. The I, old lady I would never allow a tattoo on Pappy. I went to a... It's soft I had one before, I didn't like it. Yeah, it made my feet real soft. They cut off all my calluses. You worked hard for those calluses. I know, and they just shaved them all off. Well, no, that poor lady came out. You know, they have the normal, like, small sander thing. And she sat down and pulled my feet out and set them back down and walked into the back. Door. And we back <laughs> like like, like Dumb and Dumber yeah, style? with a cheese grater and just started going to town. Yeah, yeah see, grater. that's why my, my old lady always was like, let's get a pedicure and be so nice. I go, fuck that, my feet are in boots all day. Yeah. I don't want a soft no, foot. It, it, <laughs> I don't want a soft foot. No, I don't want soft feet. really yeah. painful for a while. I haven't gone back. Yeah, We're right. real men. Yeah. We don't have soft feet. Yeah. Soft feet, you know what that means? We have feet that fucking rips open goddamn sheets. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Yeah, that is awesome. I'm very impressed by that. You can see. Look at that. Let's see it. What does soft feet mean, by the way, Tom? Soft cock. Exactly. You want a hard cock? Yeah, get some dirty feet. Cam wants to put his feet in the bar. But he so can't. Bad. He can't do it. He can't. He, he, he can't no, even no, turn. No way I can get my foot up. Pop that foot up there, buddy. You're out of chance. He can't even I'll fucking rotate his hand. Seriously? Yeah, I'm getting better at that. Yeah, he's been working on rotating his time. hand. Yeah. He can only do the shake. No, he can't move it this way. Whoa! Is that impressive? It's this way. You want to be impressed. Yeah, he couldn't do that. It's way better. Yeah, it is. Way better. See, look at that. Look at Karen. Look at Karen's hands. He, he couldn't do that. Yeah, wait, hold I mean, I can't do it that face. well, too. Hold it, close your hands, and then up and down. See if you can get rotate. <laughs> 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 that was a downhill skiing motion for those of you who don't have video. And Karen fell for it. <laughs> no, I did not go up and down. It was close. You did once. You did one pump. I did one down. And it was <laughs> that's a that's all it took. <laughs> One pump time. One pump jump. All right, well, what's next, Tom? Where's your Where's your list at, pal? We went through it already. You already went through the list? I didn't really update it. It's only been like 10 minutes, you idiot. All right, so other, than, busy. other than Pappy in six episodes, do we have any uh, Oh, yeah, next week. Planned well, well, it's, we'll it's, see. The world's shut down. Yeah, yeah who knows? World, world, world really pending. Suppose, suppose that there's a meet, there's two meets in Illinois. It's going on. We're still supposedly going on. Yeah, but supposedly this is today, just the beginning, man. Everything's getting canceled. Yeah, but in the last two days, like the whole world shut down. What do you think's gonna happen? Two yeah, more days. But they also said like, it, well, you you could be right, but the, right as of now, it's like big gatherings over two fifty. Nope, gatherings over twenty five that put all of our kids out of school. Yeah. What? Yep. That's why schools are shut. It's all gonna be shut. Even down. though it's like, over two fifty, we want twenty five kids in the school, right? I mean, in the school, it'd be more two fifty. I thought that was a rule. They it's changed it. They changed it. To 25? Uh, so it might be school specific, I'm not sure. Well, I told you about the fucking bars, or, or not the bars, changing, but like the... Every few hours it changes. The liquor stores in Canada got shut down. What? Oh my God. I got news last night from Quebec, because of my good followers, warning me, hey, they're shutting down liquor stores here, so get out and get liquor, because it's going to happen to you next. <laughs> that is a good group of fans. Yeah, that is... Hey, thank buddy, you. Hey, Whoever buddy, that was, I don't remember who it was. I'm giving you the heads up. That was awesome. Out of I so luckily, you're stocked up to Arnold. Yeah, it's so a next year's Arnold. Yeah. Yeah, that was fucking terrible. Well, well, supposedly, if it doesn't get shut down this meet, we're supposed to have a uh, Hunter Henderson. Hunter Hurst Halsey? Yeah. Triple H. Yeah, I, mean, I love Triple H. I read his book every time. Yeah, not him, but his daughter Hunter. I'm really, I'm excited to be Hunter. 
I did that. What? Right. She's very strong. She just scored at 600 in wraps. Jesus. She weighs like one. I'm guessing. She, well, she competes at 165. Probably a little heavier. Yeah. She went for a double. Almost, so missed yeah. It, but 600. Uh, smoked the first so good. She, Where is she from? She gave it a double to try. Uh, Oklahoma. Oh, yeah. <laughs> JP Price's gym? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> JP Price's gym? Yeah. That's where she trains out of. So she's supposed to be coming here for the meet to help her friends out or something. Is and then Price coming with her? I think after this meet it's no, going to be Hunter awesome. Henderson's gym that J.P. Price trades out. <laughs> yeah. But she's supposed to be on the podcast next week. Unless it falls through. Then it'll, it'll be uh, just Cam. Yeah. We'll have a special guest, uh, maybe Tank. <laughs> and then your wife. We'll just keep switching them. Yeah, we got to get uh, Karen. Dude. We got to drunk with Karen. You guys yeah. Oh, yeah. Some more people. What? Yeah, it's killing us somewhere. Well, nobody can come over, you idiot. Well, yeah. yeah, I'm pretty strict anyway. Allow in the house. Yeah, you're lucky you got in today. I believe I got in today. Yeah. Oh, sh- you snuck in the back door. In your <laughs> yeah, defense, you weren't, you weren't allowed, pal. I, I opened the front door for Callis. You snuck in the back door That's without true. telling me. Yeah, so. she told me out the back window today. <laughs> yeah. That's how we communicate now. Yeah, there's no coming in the house for Cam. He works at a hospital. I walked. I watched him quarantine walk through the backyard, and I yeah, knocked quarantine Cam. It's his new nickname. Luckily, who knows since I left work, but so far there have been no cases in the area, the county, uh, or at that hospital. <laughs> Cam's dog smell like low. Good. And Great. like what? soft. Oh, luckily, uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's a lot better than he was the first episode. What I happened to the first episode? Too far. couldn't hear him. No, I think you were nervous to talk. Maybe I was nervous, Tommy. You got to. <laughs> I'm nervous, Tommy. Shit. Weren't you going to talk about your kids or something, Tom? Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was your whole well, spiel. Get, like, I always get like questions like about like if like someone's gonna be a new dad or like yes, yeah, so just like juggling the whole family. You guys are gonna start it. being on giving dad advice. We're gonna dad. Well, what do you wish? You mean, what do you want? What advice would you give? There is no good advice. You're fucked. Say no, to Tom, you got advice. You jerk off. Do you're you trying know? to act like a tough guy now. <laughs> there is no advice. You're fucked. Yeah, I. <laughs> well, let me say, if you get a woman pregnant, you are fucked because your life's over. That was Pappy's advice to me since I was 14. He goes, son, if that... you get somebody pregnant, your life is fucking over. I know you too, and I know that that's Jesus those are, like, Christ. the best things in your life. He goes, if you don't wear a condom, your life is over because you're going to get them pregnant. Well, guess what? Guess who's not wearing a condom anymore? Cowboy Cam. It's not true. You're going to have three daughters. Tom and Tom style. Yeah, if you said you're not wearing a condom, you told me that. My daughters are great. You don't like my kids? Well, you know, hey, you're awesome. shit. Kellis, he told us that in private, though. He didn't want that in the air. What? He's about the one his penis? about his penis not being covered by a condom. <laughs> he didn't want anybody knowing that. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, your kids are awesome. <laughs> your daughter seems like a lot. Cam, you are you are definitely going to have three kids. What do you think? We should get rid of some of our daughters? No, that's China. No, no. Too many daughters. Yeah, you can only have one daughter. Pick the best one. One daughter. Go ahead, Kim. What? Spit it out. That's all I had to say. So you're not wearing a condom anymore? I didn't say that. You're trying to catch up to me and Tom? <laughs> no. He That's a race you guys can faster. keep winning. I can't believe Tom caught up to me so fast. Yeah, I don't think anyone... Immediately. Yeah. Holy shit. Tom goes, uh, Tom has one daughter, and then all of a sudden, two more pop up. Hey, you just, I just caught up to you, pal. Tom Finn says, In I ten have months. two daughters. Well, you might Kayla have. says, hold my beer. Yeah. Yeah. Hold my coffee. Yeah, hold my rubber. <laughs> hold my coffee. Yeah. It wasn't just the daughters. I, I don't use rubber. Wife, Finn daughter, had, dog. Yeah, Finn had a daughters. Wife and a dog. Daughters, and two, two, uh, two daughters. We, yeah, we only had two. And and then you caught up. Yes. In the time it took him to get the third daughter. Oh, yeah. You got the wife. The daughters. Well, what can I say? He did, it all with, you, he did it all within like a year span. Mm-hmm. Like everything. It was, it was fun because I was further along in my pregnancy than Amber was with my third pregnancy. Her second. But we knew that it was only a matter of time before, like her twins, like she would have been bigger than me. So yeah, we had a little race of belly sizes, and it was real fun, guys. That's fun. Good story. Really good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. good story. Yeah, I can't believe you caught up to me, Tom. I have three fucking daughters. Well, the hills surpass us soon enough. I'm sure of it. I remember the day well, you did. thought you were having a kid. Who? Tom. He walked into the gym. He goes, "I sold the truck. I got." Yeah, How many times has he sold his truck since you've known him? Was no, that no, last was, Tuesday? Was Jesus huge Christ. Truck. He had this huge, awesome, yeah, my, like yeah. lifted 6'7 new truck. Yeah. I'm watching because I sold the truck. I got. Came up 6'7. He wanted, he wanted his one. His number to be 6'7, remember? 6'7. Or 7'3, but you're. Or 7'3, yeah. whatever. But, but uh, he goes, so I go, you having a kid? <laughs> no, well, I haven't told anybody yet. Yeah, Cam's the first to know. Oh, first to meet her, too. All my kids. That's true. Isn't that weird? That is true. Every kid, and every he keeps kid. marrying you to the same person. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. he keeps marrying you. 
<laughs> he's marrying me. I'm like, what? Yeah, it's just the same person. Yeah. He's been through several marriages That's now. That's why after we get married, I'm like, yeah, well, my first wife. Yeah. See, see if I can piss off Amber some more. <laughs> That's right. So, well, my first wife would never do this. <laughs> <laughs> Weren't that your first wife? That was his second marriage. Second marriage. Uh -huh. Hello. First one let you get married in a kitchen. Living room. All right, buddy. So, Cam, okay. you're, you're fucking, you're definitely going to be, if you ever having sex without protection, you're going to have a baby. <laughs> Thanks, scientist Tom. Yeah. I am not having sex without Did protection. You're wearing a condom. Well, I'm doing some other things. What is other things? Pull out my zit is not. Sometimes. Pull out my zit is not. <laughs> I'm also wearing a condom sometimes. <laughs> yeah, but you told Both. me you take it off mid set. <laughs> I don't take mid -set. it off. Mid set? You know what I mean? I don't take it off. This isn't weightlifting. I don't take it off. <laughs> I take it off mid set. <laughs> <laughs> the reverse. The reverse. You, you, you put it on? Out. You no, know, you start with that one and then you put it on halfway That's through. Right. Yep. It's not a bad plan. Right. That's a terrible plan. Why? Better than no plan. Who puts a condom on mid-set? <laughs> then it gets safe. It's the opposite. It gets Listen, safe. No, it's not that. You get a break, right? Because Cam looks like a cum quicker. Quick cover. <laughs> <laughs> I do what I can. He gets a break. The deck. One. He, well, one. He gets a break. Two. Okay, whoa, whoa. Hold on. He gets a breather. I got a breather. 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 Oh. go get some beef and rice. We'll save it. That that's probably what it is. No, you got to eat. Then come back and finish the set. Is so hold on, you stop. Yeah. No, you stop mid sex to put a condom on. Yep. How? <laughs> so there's a halftime. No. no so half okay, so like a, just like a position. Uh, I could, I could, I could picture this right now. He starts off missionary style. Thirty seconds, he's about to blow his load. <laughs> Whoa! Hold on. Flip over. She, well, she's she, she gets on like uh, I don't know, doggy style or whatever you guys going to next. <laughs> And uh, uh, In case Cam you wonder what do we do next? Eats uh, beef and rice, <laughs> uh, puts a condom on, puts eats a little bit more, back gets on. the blue blockers on, on the and the jean jacket. <laughs> the he's jean porky jacket. picking it. Yeah. He's not. He's not got pants on, but he's got the jean jacket on. And then finishes. no, no, jeans don't come off. They're just around his legs. Yeah, one leg. Just like socks, you know. Some one guys leg. wear socks all the time. Look at he knew one leg there. Right? One leg. He lacks feet. Out, if you leave the jeans on one leg. In case yeah, something happens. That, ability, in case he needs to change someone's those tires. Yeah, yeah, in case you gotta get a tire change real quick. The door opens, you can book it. I don't, Who's opening the I don't door? Know <laughs> if somebody's door. Of yeah, somebody's not. dad's coming. <laughs> You're like 30, dude. You <laughs> That's true. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. Old habits people, die hard. People get pregnant on free time, you know. Yeah. And it usually happens in the beginning. It's a. What? Yeah. Is it premiums? It's called pre beginning. <laughs> it's a beginning before coming. Yeah. Yep. That's what the word prefix yeah. means. Mm -hmm. Pre. <laughs> no, no. You are correct. Uh, Cam, I cannot believe you put a condom on mid sex. <laughs> yep. I've never heard of anybody doing that. Like at the end too. Not the end. Alex, call me, sweetheart. <laughs> at the middle, what then you take Don't it off? Been giving her any wild ideas. <laughs> you take it off after? What do you mean after? What do you mean? Wait, you're getting it off. No, no, I leave it on for like a week normally. No, yeah, you said you said you said in the middle you put it on. So you take it off, you, you don't you fuck and then you put it on and then you take it off. So at you, the end of the festive. So you mean you finish? Yes. Yes. Oh, uh, when you complete orgasm. When you finish, where do you finish at, Kim? In the condom. You don't exactly. take the condom off? <laughs> what would be the point of that? <laughs> for shell. <laughs> yeah. I, I would for a while. See what you got. I would just take it off. No. And then and then not do it inside. Just on the outside. So you're going inside too? You're definitely getting <laughs> Jesus, Cam, you're fucking double daring it. Oh boy. I can't believe you put a condom on mid sex. I've never heard of that. I like that it's you like wear condoms, but not gear. socks. Find another gear. Yeah. Jesus Christ. I've never ever in my whole life ever heard of somebody doing that. I swear to God, I never heard of you. Have you, Tom? No. I've never heard of somebody having sex and then. Because you don't want to have sex with the condom because it doesn't feel as good. Exactly. That's why the first half he exactly. enjoys it. So usually it's the, the second half. Like, you oh, enjoy fuck. half the sex? <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I think he probably enjoys all of it. Yeah. Yeah, that would have been bad if you said you only enjoyed half of it. All of it. Especially if she's listening. <laughs> I, mean, I don't think yep. listens. Mm -hmm. You should try the, the push and spray method. <laughs> How'd that work for you, buddy? <laughs> what the hell is push and spray? <laughs> you just try what to spray past all that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> push real deep. <laughs> Well, if you push, it's going to go, no, you can't. That's impossible, Tom. <laughs> Clearly. Yeah. It's three you got twins. Three, three to four. You really eat it. in between sets? 
sets of sex. Sets or sex? You're having sets, obviously. Sets, you're having sets, sets of sex. One it's one set. set. How many reps per set, Cam? <laughs> Not too many. many yeah. goals, <laughs> <laughs> what do you, what do you this call it? It's singles. Yeah. Well, Heavy it doubles. Probably, it probably depends because if she's on top, he can be like, just, I'm fine. Go as long as you want. But if he's, he has to do the work, he's going to be. Yeah, the issue, oh, yeah. Oh, the the issue, the cardio, is, the issue is not performance, it's wind. <laughs> it's wind. <laughs> oh, yeah, if he's doing all the work, it's over. <laughs> he's definitely breathing hard. He's already breathing hard, hard right now. Heart attacks. Anyway. She's just staring at his mustache and blue blockers. His mustache has got to be blowing in the wind because he's breathing so hard. <laughs> it's like flying off his face. <laughs> yeah, he's doing the. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get a rubber on. Hold on. Don't move. Yeah, don't move. Don't Stop. move. Stop. Well, that's a, do people, not move. People do yeah. not realize how. Do serious. not move. That, that should be a PSA for women. That don't move is serious. <laughs> yes, one slight movement. You sneeze and I will come. Yeah. You sneeze and we're having twins. To, to the four female listeners, if you hear don't move, do not well, I've told move. Karen that many times. Do oh, not yeah. don't, don't I know. blink your eyes. Stop, do stop, 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 stop. Hold on. Uh-huh. Yeah, you get the fucking oxygen mask on. Okay, let's go. I can't believe you do that. I How about, uh, here's another fun fun thing with lifters. Fun fact. Fun fact. <laughs> with what? sex. Uh, <laughs> with lifters, like oh. having sex with lifters. Uh, How many? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Cramping terribly in the oh, middle yeah. of sex. Guilty as charged. His pack was like in half the other night. Like, so when Hey, he just, you know your parents listen to this, Karen. Yeah, stop listening. Uh, your parents know you have kids, right? <laughs> They probably don't want to hear about her they sex. Probably don't yeah, want to hear about her That's probably true. Yeah. 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 Jesus. That's I can't believe Karen's that. talking about my cramping issues. He's got some cramping issues sometimes. Oh man, my peck almost tore in half. It was so bad. Deep I mean, bananas. it was. Huh? Deep bananas. I yeah. don't believe in fruit or vegetables. <laughs> never have, never will. Only alcohol and water. Caffeine. And pre workout. <laughs> Lots of pre workout. Uh, Let's get stupid. I'll be more about that, Cam. <laughs> That's for pre-sex. Not so no, no one else gets screwed by the. Oh yeah, cramps. yeah, yeah. Hamstring, cramps. hamstring. Though. I've had hamstring cramps many yeah. times, multiple times. I do a lot of work done when I'm in there, so it's usually hamstrings. You really push it in there. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, when you're on top, you know, you're like holding yourself, and like yeah. it's like two hours after I just did a heavy bench. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to two hours of sex. Like, oh, I know. No. no. <laughs> but no one wants that. <laughs> and everything cramps up. My try will cramp. My pec really, literally rips in half, it like it sure. indents, it like has a and it won't go it. back. It, it, and I like hold my arm out like this, and you know, and just you know, you gotta just keep going. You gotta you just pain go pain. through it. And I do. I, it's yeah. very painful if you ever had a pec cramp or any type of cramp. It's immediately, especially a leg cramp too. We have those are nice. You immediately flip over on your back. You just gotta work through it to satisfy. It. Mm-hmm. That's quite a man. Usually, I just throw my one leg out and just leave it up in the air. Yeah, you made the choice to lift. You don't get to. Baby I baby. don't have to suffer for that. Yeah, well, I don't. I keep going. I go through it, Kim. I'm a man. Cause that's what a real man does. I believe they don't right. stop mid-set to eat and then put a condom on. <laughs> I would argue the opposite. No, that is not what a real man does. He rests his bowl of food on her. On her lower back. Yep. Kind of like how people put a beer back there. He's got a bowl of meat and rice. Yes, sir. You put, some, you put beer on me. I have before. Oh, jeez. Well, you know that. That was for you, not me. You were the one drinking. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of things you guys do in your bedroom, man? <laughs> Putting beer on her back? Well, I mean, we're drinking, having fun. You know, it happens. Just like he eats all the time. I've never rested a beer on my lady's back. Neither has he. He's making shit up. Oh, you liar. <laughs> He's showboating. You guys are all lying. You guys have all done it. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> does it. Yeah. I mean, I wore a condom, and then you take it off, and then you go again. You're like, oh, this condom sucks. Not, oh, this condom, let me put this condom on. I'm I guarantee lost. there's going to be... put condoms on and then take them off halfway through? Yeah, because you don't like it. And then just finish with that one? He's not talking about me. So never I inside. You're an idiot. If you do that, even with a condom on, you never finish inside. That don't bother me. Though. Do you not know how well, condoms yeah. work? How what? I yeah, see but the there, condoms can break, though, too. So the safest way is to wear one and then also pull out. Yeah. It's a yeah, safe way to be. That's not as fun as a funeral. <laughs> I'm with you. I'm well, I mean, do you want twins or triple? If you don't want kids, that is. If you want kids, then you do. But I don't think you guys want kids yet, do you? Mm-hmm. Well, then maybe put the condom on the whole time, pal. Maybe you're right. I say ditch it, dude. 
Just dodge the bullet, brother. I'm not taking your advice. You just do you want, want to another do you want to marry with a bunch him of kids. in his living room? Yeah, I'll marry you. You're, You're not a brother. only sailors were real come. efficient. Oh, I'm sure oh, that was really hard. hard. You could get, get officiated, and I'd get officiated. Yeah, yeah. yeah. anyone can. I do it while doing the podcast. Yeah, there's no test. You just yeah. sign up, and it's free. Mm-hmm. Oh, free. Mm-hmm. I don't think Tom's smart enough to get it. Then there's no test. You just sign up. Just my, I can type my name on a computer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, great. Well, Cam did it. Guess Cam what? started to do the internet we last year. We are getting married next weekend. What are you saying? Yes, sir. Well, maybe she's pregnant. Actually, she just texted me. She could be. Yeah, she could, especially with the way he does stuff. Yep. The way this guy pre I mean, that is breaking place. news, Cam, that you do that. <laughs> breaking news. There's going to be a lot. I guarantee you, there's going to be a lot of uh, DMs and stuff, and people are going to be talking about this. Yeah. I mean, Cam really <laughs> puts a condom on mid-set. They're going to be talking about your and Alex's sex life. Alex going to love it. Oh, God. Awesome. Mid-set. She doesn't listen to this, does she? I hope this is one of the many ones she doesn't listen to. Yeah, she doesn't listen. I, I don't think she... Amber listens either, but I'm not going to mm-hmm. go into too many details yeah, about, she's, about she's, mid-set. Yeah, she said she gets enough of uh, our banter. Why didn't she put like? Did, why didn't she put that thing in her thing to make it stop? Her thing in her thing. This is getting what? It's like weird. A ring you shove up there. How'd that work for you? Well, one time it didn't. Work. Oh, you mean like a twins. birth control sort of? Yeah. yeah. How did you get twins anyway? I, it was like I impregnated her. But it was my semen. It was only ten months after your first kid or something. After right? she achieved orgasm. Uh, I don't think she achieved that, but. <laughs> yeah, she. Yeah, Are you sure? <laughs> she had girls. Which means she... That oh, means you might be right. She had more whoever fun. Had the more fun. What? That's how it That's works, how huh? the sex is determined in a child. Whoever had more fun during the sexual act, oh. that's the gender well, of children. Well, pleaser. <laughs> Everybody knows that now. Yeah. I thought you said it had something to do with, uh... <laughs> no. Like, being inverted or something. Inverted? <laughs> what is that? What the fuck does that even mean? Upside like, down? Upside down? Like, like, when I chain her up? No, that's for guys. If guys are upside down? No, if, for a boy, baby... The girl's got to be upside down in a jackhammer position. <laughs> well, that's what I was thinking. So the yeah, semen yeah. goes down more. That's what I Somewhere thought, yeah. deeper. I yeah. don't yeah. think that's true. <laughs> yeah, I think like you can like your prison education hold yourself is not very upright. Well, I think Bappy told down me down that. Yeah. Sex. That just <laughs> helps you get pregnant in general. So if it, well, that makes sense. Gravity. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Gravity at all. Yeah, it just keeps going down, right? right. What, if so you, what if you had sex standing up then? She can't get pregnant. Can I get pregnant? No. Oh, swim or oh, swim, right? Swim or swim. Yeah. Depends on how far you can shoot that motherfucker, bro. Wait, so and you'll never know. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mid set. Alex, poor sex, Alex is gonna get pregnant if on you his free time. Upside down, so all the swimmers make it. Why did she just get out? Aren't you rolling the dice on maybe one of the weak ones? Are you or worse? The one that has the baby? No, because they're you, still swimming you, more slowly than the fast ones. Right, but they Cam, I always thought you were smart, man. But if, no. if you're standing upright, wouldn't only the strongest... Only the strong shall survive. Yeah. So if she's on top, so the strong you, ones make it. And then if she stands up right away, you so, make sure you're going to have a strong baby. No, like, okay, the strength of the sperm does not determine the strength of the baby. It just determines if have you get said, a baby. I don't know about that. Do are you wearing like, blue blockers when you have sex? <laughs> yeah. Do you think that the baby's like, <laughs> muscles are determined on that, like how quickly the sperm got to the egg? Because that's the only thing. If well, no, beat out the other ones, it must be stronger. The stronger one, your no. genetics might be better. Mm, no. No? Yeah, I don't know about that. I'm not a scientist. Weak swimmers yet. just don't get to the egg. They're not mm. producing less worthy children. <laughs> less worthy. Are you a spermologist? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Karen knows a lot I about semen. I do feel like I know a whole lot more about this topic than you do. For sure, you probably do. <laughs> Too bad there's like a semen like Specialist. rock moving test. <laughs> you know, right, like, right. You know, see how far this fucking one thing a sperm can move a rock? Yeah, like a rock. pebble. Like a pebble. Like this yeah. one can fucking fly and throw it real far. Yeah. Well, That's you know, you want. can uh, you can you can have your semen well, similar to what you want, like with the uh, the strongest one. You can have them. You know, well, you can have out. a boy if you want to. And like you could tell him to split okay, it. Okay, we have this so many girls, this many boys. Okay, put her, put the boys in the egg. Mm-hmm. So you can have a boy. Well, you mean like uh, with the doctor? But it could be like yeah, a, you can't just it. say that in the back right. of your head. As you, <laughs> but, uh, you're talking about as you're coming. I didn't know guy. what you were talking about at first. Boy! Yeah. Boys, yeah. Yeah. Uh, girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you could do that. Yeah, that's not natural though. Hold on, let me pull. This. Let me go into the third quarter and pull this one off. Yeah, but you can. But I, uh, I know a couple guys that did it, but. Yeah, it's kind of like playing God. Yeah, yeah it's weird. Uh, it's like uh, if you put like uh, I feel like if you want a boy and you tell the doctor I want a boy and they give you a boy, could it be like a girl boy? <laughs> what? You know, like somebody that plays violin. 
Like it could be like a girl. How does that make someone girly? Because they play the violin. I didn't say it was. I said if a girl it could be a girl sperm. They don't even know, but they think it's a boy sperm. I think they no. know. <laughs> That's Pretty fucking sure weird. Know. I don't know. It's just kind of. Oh, you mean like the XY chromosomes? <laughs> like, like, like the the they fucked up the sperm? Yeah, like it could still be. What? That's what I always thought. No, I don't know. No, no. You think like? So why none of you assholes are doctors? Yeah. I, I'm pretty sure they know how to like separate them and only give you the boys. It could still be some kind of a girl too, but they make it a boy because it's made. How do they make no. it a boy? They don't. N- no. What do you mean make it just, a boy or a girl? Just no. Mm-mm. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. I don't know. It's fucking. It's way over my head. All I know is that fucking Cam puts a condom on at halftime. <laughs> You got it correct for the first time. Which is ridiculous. <laughs> I honestly have never heard one person in my whole life ever do that, ever. Have you, Tom? Ever? <laughs> no. Me neither. I'm not a big fan of those things, man. I, sure? only, I only do that in a relationship. But I've never... What are you doing out of a relationship? Raw dog it. No, immediately <laughs> put one on. <laughs> immediately put one on. And then I don't do fake wear, number. He wears it to the date. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, I know. I know that trick. He puts his kind of on, but he puts his jeans yeah. on. Yeah. And he puts jacket. His, no, I show up to the date with a box full of 12. We've yeah, 12 pack full of condoms. No. No. Well, it's actually like three, though. He leaves the rest in the car. Yeah. He leaves like 10 in the car, yeah. takes two. 10 of jacket, just yeah. chock full of condoms. Yeah, his like 10 of jacket doesn't have enough pockets in it. Yeah, it's like, like top pockets, side pockets. Yeah, he's got lots of... He has pockets everywhere. Yeah, pocket here, it would hold condoms. I asked you to put something in the pocket. Yeah, where's those 12 condoms? Where's your... Where's your Pat condoms, buddy? Condom. You should Pat send condoms. condoms with these shirts. Do you use reuse condoms? No. Ew. Okay. I just check them. I, 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 I know a lot of guys that used to do reuse them. You seem pretty cheap. Who? Yeah. We, no, 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 no. Who? What guys? We just uh, turn them inside out. I mean, you, you ever heard of a guy? <laughs> Isn't that how that works? Yeah. You guys know a guy yeah. named uh, Chuck Bachman? And, uh, <laughs> Dustin Tank Powers? They've reused condoms before. But never with a woman. It was by themselves. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was, I was going to say, they're having a lot of sex. Yeah, well, it was less cleanup, they told me. That's what they used Increased to do. Increased sensitivity. Yeah. Last longer. Last longer. Candy well, they're by themselves. Right. And it was only at halftime, too. They'd eat first and then put the condom back on. <laughs> <laughs> and then put the porno back on. <laughs> I got to catch this load. <laughs> that's, that's, that's something tank, or not tank, Cam, that I'm going to... I'm gonna hold that against you for a long time. <laughs> really? Yeah. I just, yeah the who, who taught you that? Or you're just like in your head, you're like, well, I can still feel her better without it, and then when I finish, I'll just put it on before then. Yeah, because it's fucking, you can't get it's, a pregnant. It's probably not half time. It's probably simple, more like simple brain fourth storm. quarter. It is. It's like, <laughs> I'm about to come right it's now. Fox running out. Yeah, it's big time. It's, it's like, just, I better put a condom on or I'm gonna blow my load. And he says, it's just simple brainstorming. Just brainstorming. Who brainstorms that? He just, he just, he just yeah. drives around thinking, listening to Waylon Jennings. <laughs> you know what? Instead of wearing it all the time, I'm, I'll fuck her without it first. Listen to Waylon Jennings. <laughs> <He's the best. laughs> His mustache is blowing in the wind. He's just uh-huh. like, I'm a fucking genius. <laughs> I, <can't believe laughs> I never thought of this. Yeah, before. the fucking windows are down. Moby's Blair, it whatever the fuck. Great idea. And it's like, <laughs> and the <laughs> second time, I'll like, oh, pre-cum. Yeah. Just don't, just forget about it. Well, no, okay. no, I don't think there's much of that. It's fine. Uh, yeah. that, uh, it's been brought to my attention. It might change the process. Yeah, you know How, what does Alex feel? What is her like? Does she like doesn't care? She wants your kids, doesn't she? Yeah, she's, she's trying to lock you down. She, I bet she's wrapping those fucking feet around your ass <laughs> and trying to pull that dick in without a condom on. I don't think so. I don't think she wants kids yet either. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. But is she, what does she say she's about a fan the, con- of the technique? Yeah, she ever heard of that technique? Yeah, she's a big fan of the technique. Because yeah. nobody else no has heard of that technique. No girl has heard of that technique. Nobody, yeah, nobody, nobody speak at all women. women. Nobody's heard of that technique. This is a cam cowboy cam technique. Is going to be called from ever from now on forever. You are no longer the guy who buries your money in the yard. You are the guy who Finally. puts a comment. So got him on ha- halftime. <laughs> half-time. <laughs> that is probably the greatest invention you ever made up. Just Why would you tell time. us that a long time ago? <laughs> I didn't know discussing. You know, I didn't even know it was that weird. I guess. Oh. <laughs> it's weird. Whoa, Very right. weird. Right. If anybody gets anything out of this stupid podcast we did today, <laughs> it's the fucking halftime trick by I mean, Cowboy We've been talking about for 45 minutes, so if they didn't get that from the podcast, they're in trouble. Yeah, but it only works half when time. you know somebody's like uh, clean. You know? What do you mean? Well, it'd still work if they weren't clean. You well, no, 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 no. Disease. Well, yeah, exactly. Like, right. the con- it only the con- works for two purposes. You don't say. 
Well, right. But I didn't want any <laughs> listeners to like. Well, yeah, but you know, guess what, Cam? It also safe. doesn't work. Well, don't keep worry. Pregnant from break home, so. It doesn't work at all, Cam. <laughs> at all. You're Wasting dumb all these goddamn condoms. No, no, no. Just yeah, <laughs> these condoms are being used for absolutely nothing. Uh, Cam's not worried about the kid waste. that's on the way. He's worried about that he spent <laughs> whatever twelve dollars at the pharmacy for condoms. <laughs> yeah, you, you, I know you're using condoms. It's a waste of money. I thought you like money. Now you bury your money. You try to save as much money as you can. Effective. I'm changing. It. You are wasting money. You're using the condom only half the time, so you're using it half of the use out of it. So maybe you can reuse it. Guess how much those condoms are going to cost you? The price of a child. Yeah, like a billion dollars. Well, it, doesn't, it wouldn't cost me more to use them the whole time. It costs the same. <laughs> True. Fucking genius. <laughs> but if you use them half the month, then they cost the price of raising a child. Is what I'm saying. Which is a lot of money, bro. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'll use them all the time. <laughs> Sing it out of your truck. <laughs> yeah. Sing it out of Moby. Gone! I Never. feel like he could probably afford Moby. I yeah. feel like he's not oh, no. still paying for Moby. No. no. Moby. Yeah, he is. He's got a payment plan. Repairs. Moby was fully paid off the moment it drove off the lot. <laughs> he's he's but paying I'm for it because he has to repair it. When I have kids down the road, and just toss a truck cap on there. Then I'm not to get a new car. I told you you can't do that anymore, Cam. That was only in like the 80s. You nah, just bolt the... What? Cam bolt. thinks he can bolt like an old car seat or like that a seat not true. in it's the gonna, back of his truck without seat belts with the, with the fucking cap over it and drive him down the road. That's I said, nice that's too. the way you get on the internet what now. What was, you could... What if I bolted an, an actual seat with a cap on it with seat belts so the car seats were strapped in? What if, what if the kids need something? They throw the little window open and yell at them. Drive? Yes! <laughs> yes! yes. yes. <laughs> they need things. On a drive? Hold on, hold on, hold on. You're the man that shits mid drive. You think your small children will need something? Learn you. Your kids are going to be shitting <laughs> fucking 25 times on your you drive. You can't make it through a drive without needing something. You, you can't even make it 10 minutes. Right, fine. I'll put two benches back there. Alex can ride with the kids. <laughs> Don't you let me know when I got to stop. And Alex, drivers. Alex, sweetie, like, <laughs> get out now. See me, like, Blink three times if you need help. She needs help. What? SOS. SOS. I will help you. Lady. Blink, blink three <laughs> times if you want me to pull you out of the situation. God, this is great. Camp, this is the best you've ever been on the podcast. You've actually come up with great material. Now, what else What else do you think you're going to do with kids? Tell us more normal stuff about your life that you think are normal. <laughs> yeah. Not normal. Well, I thought it was completely normal putting the condom halfway. Yeah, there's got to be a lot more shit. You do know you're my emergency contact if my kids need picked up. Are you that. kidding? And you will be getting my SUV. <laughs> oh my yeah, god, yeah, Tom. Yeah. You better fucking make no, Karen no, emergency contact. Karen immediately. Can I, say this? I don't you're seem ahead. responsible. No, but you have uh, three kids already. You can't drop everything and go with my kid. What if uh, your kid's coming off the school bus? Oh, good luck, Elena. I just, I'd bring the expedition. Yeah, see? There we go. Uh, I don't know what this guy I'm going to raise my kids, Farrell. I would expect yours. You know, they're used to a yuppie lifestyle, they're used to St. Charles. Yeah. Gotta keep, you can't. I'm toughing them up, Cam, don't worry. Yeah, okay, okay, buddy. Don't worry. I can't, Cam, tell I got, I got every walking around no, no shoes on. That's true, you can spend, your kids <laughs> yeah. spend a lot of time in the gym. Yeah, the and they, they got a lot of calluses they, on their feet. They instinctually walk over and pick up weights, they do. Yeah. My kids played They're swearing. while I was working out today. That's good. Yeah. Nobody Only to stabbed stick. Karen earlier today, <laughs> aren't you? Yeah, with a stick. What? <laughs> They're being I raised like wolves. If you don't want stories about your kids on here, but the first time I met any of your kids, mm -hmm. one child came walking into the room crying, mm -hmm. claiming that the younger one kicked her in the face, <laughs> and then that child <laughs> strolled into the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> when you asked her what happened, Conor McGregor. She, yeah, then when you asked her what happened, she said, "I kicked her in the face." <laughs> kicked her in the face. <laughs> I hadn't met any of these children. <laughs> like, oh, I'm in the right house. This is, these are these children. <laughs> I was amazed. What like, happened, Bear? I kicked her in the face. Yeah. Totally calm. Totally yeah, calm. Like, like it was no big deal. It might be because we nicknamed her Bear. Yo, she's she like is, yeah. fighting for her. Yeah, she's Bear. She's a Barracuda. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, Barracuda. No, no, that's not why her name's Bear. Like a Bear Bear. Well, it's like a Barracuda. No. It's not? <laughs> oh, my well, life. I was the one that nicknamed her, so I think I get I know. You weren't. <laughs> Short for a fish. Well, I don't know how uh, you got pregnant with a third child because I was doing the Cam Needham. <laughs> <laughs> it's halftime. Let me have a beer and put my condom on now. <laughs> for the grand finale. <laughs> this is the halftime show. God, that was awesome. We got time for another drink. What do you want to do, Kels? Yeah, I don't care. Keep going. All right, I'll take another drink. Can I get another drink there? 
So, before we got to this stupid ass topic of fucking Cam Needham, Cam Seaman adventures. By the way, Cam is cringing every time you say his last name on air. I am. Oh, sorry. Cowboy Cam, aka. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, guy, Cam's, now he's done with the beer. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> he's saying way too much on air. Um, you were going to talk about, like, people want to know about the kids stuff, oh, right? Yeah. We were talking about advice, advice on, on advice. raising kids and shit, and we got this stupid tangent yeah, with. good advice on how to not. Keep kids away. That's what you're saying. Don't do what I did. Do it. <laughs> Just let him talk down. <laughs> Don't, <enter. laughs> Don't do what I did. Do. Let's see, let's see where he goes from here. <laughs> I know. That was all Just got all silent. Just let him talk. Go ahead. No, no, you've got the keep floor. going. You got the floor, bud. No way, buddy. <laughs> no way. What? <laughs> I can't keep talking. <laughs> Cam's great or Cam's greatest appearance of all time. I can't keep talking. I can't. <laughs> no way, buddy. I can't keep talking. <laughs> I've said too much. I love the halftime trick. So we we're talking about just uh, raising kids and stupid oh, shit. Yeah, like best advice I ever got or something. Yeah, and yours was. Uh, what'd you say? I don't remember. You said something mean. real stupid that wasn't true. Yeah, I can't call me out on it. And then, then Cam started going to town. Oh, good luck. You're fucked. Yeah. Oh yeah, I called you out because you guys are both good dads. Oh, yeah. thanks. I think so. Well, hold that topic. I gotta pee. Cut me off, Tom. Talk about fucking. No, put me back on. <laughs> okay. Talk about Cam's fucking halftime shit until I get back, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna go pee in the backyard real quick. <laughs> yeah, uh, as far as advice goes, like, when I'm at, when I'm at, when I announced I was having a kid, like, you get advice when you don't ask for it. Sure. Oh, yeah. Very annoying. Um, but the best advice I ever got was just, uh, if you do whatever you think is right, then you'll never be wrong. That's what I did. I didn't listen to anybody else. So do this, do this. I go, oh, fuck you. I'll just do whatever I want. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Real simple. I mean, we read, like, some, we did books and stuff on, like, uh, sleep training and shit like that. And, like, helping with their eating. But other than that, like, sure, we I mean, raise it them makes how sense. we think we should raise them. Uh-huh. I don't know. I mean, I don't think it's not that hard. I mean, it's, not, it's hard. It's not, like, it's not that difficult. Just don't be a fucking idiot. Well, you just have to care. Don't, like, just don't put them yeah. in the back seat of your truck with bolted oh, down seats with a cam on it. Yeah. And throw because okay. you don't think they'll leave anything on the right end. Yeah, you raise them tough, you know. Like, yeah. like the rust from you Moby, know. it would just like disconnect anything. Yeah. Like you would bolt it to the rust spot. Yeah, raise them tough. Don't get me into coronavirus, that's for sure. Oh, Come on, Cam. Do you have like weird theories about that too? I bet you do. Vaccination stuff. Oh, I'm Christ. all on board for that. Well, I just meant coronavirus. Weird, weird virus shit. You think it's a political thing because of voting? I don't think the virus has anything to do with politics. I would guess that. Jesus uh, Christ. Oh, God. I would guess that completely that, wrong. I mean, no, I mean, it's just a virus that's going They're on. probably doing something behind the scenes no one knows because everybody's talking about coronavirus. Just wait. There have been some bills that are. I just fell down. There's always bills being passed. <laughs> what, I miss anything good? Nothing. I just fucking cut my leg open on the fucking, uh, what do you call that outside the uh, bench? I fucking tripped over to the bench out there trying to take a leak. Step in your it's dark as shit back there. Stepping your dog's shit that you can't pick up? <laughs> no, it's not. outside of your house? Huh? I always pee outside. I always have Pappy. I always have. He lives in the neighborhood. I do. I live in St. Charles. Yeah. That's true. We all do. You're doing Everybody steps outside and pisses on my four neighbors. I've always peed outside. I, just, I feel like a man peeing outside. I, right? liked, I liked when we had a, when Tom and I used to live in Plainfield, like, Country club subdivision, not anywhere near like what we're living now. Yeah, you we, can't see your penis outside, it's so yeah. dark. You can't see your hand. We threw a housewarming party in Pappy's in my back corner of the yard, four foot fences only. <laughs> Maybe there was a bush in that corner, but a four foot fence That's around. A great story. I mean, all of our family, all of our friends were there. Like, Pappy's being in the corner, Tom and I knew what he was doing. He said there were people playing horseshoes. He's like, I'm just going to go get that horseshoe that went back to the bush. And so then your dad peed. believed him. So he's peed. I said, oh my God, I can't believe Pappy's peeing in my yard. My dad's like, no, no, he said there was a horseshoe. Said, oh. <laughs> yeah. Pappy's back there pissing oh, with a beer in his hand. I dad, can see him. come on. It's, it's, he's not. Yeah. That was like three in the afternoon, peeing in my backyard no, uh, at party. Pappy's getting a horseshoe was back there. Mm. So what did I miss while I was urinating in the backyard? And we tried to get more delusional stories out of cam and he he's his tongue is <laughs> delusional there, well one thing that was did tom ever talk about his kids or whatever yeah he did it was, uh, what was <laughs> what, what was the thing anything anything good do what you think you should do <laughs> good advice <laughs> <laughs> so i get a lot of questions about cam because he's got these weird 
What do you Hell call you those don't. things? I swear to God, I do. <laughs> about, like, to I ask them. This is one thing I forgot to talk about the other week when you were on. Mm. Then I was taking a pit. I was <laughs> taking <laughs> I was taking a leak and I was, you know, looking up at the stars and thinking about what I should talk about next. Um, everybody wants to know what your take is on the coronavirus and that. Because you got all these weird, kooky ideas about shit. Why you. That's what I just said while you were gone. For real? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, For shit. Real. Because everybody always talks about you burying your money, you don't trust banks, you don't do this, you don't do that. So I always want to know what your fucking stupid ideas are. About the so you guys already talked about it. I'll pass. Yeah, I think you should just do what everybody's saying. Uh, calm down. Don't buy toilet paper. Stay at home if you think you're sick. Uh, do you think it's a government hoax? No. You don't. No. I think it, I think it's being overplayed because everybody's panicking. But I don't think they're. Making well, why it now? Out. Why are they panicking now? Like we had the H1N1. We had all kinds of. Yeah. We had the swine flu. Yeah, but like. We had that mad cow eating thing. Yeah, but everybody panicked over those. Not like it's going like this. Not at all. No. Have you seen the stores? Yeah, no, no. It's definitely getting crazier now. I don't know why. I think one person left the store with a shit ton of toilet paper, and then everybody else thought, you know, I better stock up, and then the shelves got light. Oh, I don't know about that. I and thought you were panic. gonna say something good there, Cam. No, you're, I got nothing good. You're really you're burning out on this. Yeah. I thought you were gonna say, you know, bury your money, you I'm know, really lock your doors, person, you know? country boy can't survive. You're not a crazy person, why do you bury your money? I don't like banks. Well, that's a crazy person. No. What do you live in? Nine, you live in 1925? Keep some money in banks. I think, you know, for most people, it's not convenient to not use banks. But just to assume that you should always be keeping all of your money in banks is not really looking at the whole system. Huh. Yeah, I agree. You know, if you're someone who's living paycheck to paycheck, and you're you're using your money to pay for your, you know, if you have a significant other and kids and stuff, and they gotta have accounts and, and cards, then a bank makes sense. But if you're just storing all of your money in a bank all the time without thinking about it, why are you letting them play with their money? Yeah, and plus the bank's just using your money to get rich. Oh yeah, and you can't you always get bank, it all out. You have a bank ten grand, they're gonna take it to the federal. Was it the Federal Reserve or? And they make they a lot loans, of money they loans on that, like yeah. ten times the amount that you get. Right. That they use. Well, and if you give so, a bank, let's say, let, let's say you put a, a lot of savings in a bank. Let's say you put a big number in a bank, and then you walk in and try to get more than 10, 15 grand of it at one day without warning them. That's just your money. You walk in, you say, I want this in cash. They're going to tell you no. Very true. They don't have any cash. All right. My wife tried to pull like 15, 20 grand once in cash. And they're like, well, you can't do that. It's your money. She's like, this is Chase Bank. You can't give me 20 grand. Yeah. Or 15, whatever, 10, whatever it was. So she's like, well, you can go. We can give you four. And then we'll write you a cashier's check. And you go to another bank. And then they'll give you some of it. And then you go to, like, Amber had to go like three banks just to get like 12 grand or 15. I'm like, are you Bullshit. fucking kidding me? Yeah. Go, You're a bank. That's as soon as you said that, I go, uh, start stuffing an envelope. Maybe somewhere. can't ain't so crazy. That's yeah, I said uh, start uh, making some holes and get some PBC. Mm -hmm. We got some money to bury. Mm -hmm. um, speaking of that, what do you guys trim your pubes to? What kind of music? I just got a, I just got a question right live on air. They want to know. I mean, I got I got three. You don't, do you? Yeah, you don't trim. I thought yeah, I dude. thought you said uh, Alex likes the bush. Yeah, that's, no, no, that's what you told us. You earlier. like the bush. No, 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 you're all wrong. Well, that's what you said, so... I don't think I said that. But, uh, I don't know. I think you're meaning things up. <laughs> well, I picture Cam's probably listening to, like, fucking, I don't know, Leonard Skinner or something. Yeah. Willie, Waylon, or Merle. <laughs> Willie, Waylon, and me. How do you... What do you use? Straight razor? Yeah. No, uh, buzzer. A buzzer? Well, you gotta get this Manscaped, man. Yeah, it's got a light on it. Yeah. yeah, nobody sent me one of those. If only Because I thought you said Alex likes... Friends like, you like, you like, uh, that would be nice when I have friends that were associated with some company. Well, then them. you could support them and... And use our code. Use yeah, code. Was it stupid 20? Discount. Yeah, maybe right there. Jeez. Yeah. I, mean, I use bulk codes, do I get double discount? I yeah, that's so. how it works. Yeah, I really? think so. Yeah. No. It doesn't? Okay. Well, whose well, code do I use then? Just use the code stupid. 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 podcast code. Manscaped.com. Cool. Yeah, you then, then they'll split it 50-50. I hadn't thought about that. How, yeah. how long are you planning on growing that mustache out for, too? Don't know. <laughs> so, I was, I was thinking about getting rid of it, but I haven't seen a lot of them lately. Hold on. Yep. You obviously trim your facial hair. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. You also trim your balls and your butthole. Yep. Separate trimmers? You trim your buddy. Butthole? Oh, okay. I don't trim my butthole. I don't know where we're going there. Well, I thought you said you like how Alex plays with your ass. <laughs> I never said that either. <laughs> I could have sworn you said that. that. I never no, said that. No, you said that earlier in the podcast. But like not like a lot, just like a little bit. Yeah, just finger. 
Yeah. First no. knuckle? Pinky? Nope. Uh-uh. So he already knows he has <laughs> pinky up. No way. Oh, uh, so he's like a finger? Oh, God, put that pinky away. Nope. Hmm. Not my thing. Okay. Yeah. All of a sudden, now you don't want your ass play. Yeah, I'm not into it. Pretty weird. Dirty spot, you know? <laughs> Dirty spot, you know? I'm not into it. No? You don't believe Maybe it. after halftime they play with that. You don't believe in anal? Well, you know, teach their own, but not my ideal. <laughs> not my ideal. <laughs> you know? Cam is being put on the spot the hot seat tonight! Yeah, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. People want to know about your sex life. Super, I, it might be I don't think anyone wants to know. <laughs> right. If it's we're going to go over this. They do now. If we're gonna they do might this. not have before. They do yeah. now. Well, yeah, after what you said, we should probably just go over the beginning. Like the first. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. We, how do you warm up the oven? No. Yeah. No. How no. do you tell her that you want sex? Yeah, Jesus. how do you say you want sex? Yes, yes, no. How do you, Hold like, on. get her into the bedroom? First off, yeah, we'll go there, but then explain. How do we let's explain the first quarter? The second quarter, halftime, we already know about. No, no, no. This, this is a pretty quick show. I have some like commercial. Show. I have a, a little bit of chivalry left. All right. Well, can't say What do you do? Okay. Oh, yes. Here, I, hold on. No, we all go around the room and we, we decide how it goes. I'll go first. <laughs> I predict it goes like this. Here's how Cam warms it up. He opens the door, car door for the truck, right? I like, do, I do that you're all chivalry. the time. No, I do that all the so time. You, you go around, you open the truck door up for he it. She tries gets to in. hold her hand in the truck. No, no she, I'm shifting. Yeah. I don't even remember. Is your I truck do, I do. I do open and. You got a flat. I do open the truck when she gets in and when she gets out. I yeah. used to do that, but then I got three kids. I got to open the door. Yeah, you got. Them. You got way more things. Do you have a stop that money? You got. I believe the flat. I like that. The flat bed, whatever. Not the flat bed. The fucking the bench seat. The bench seat, buddy. You do. So she yeah. sits in the middle a lot. No, because like I got, how the old days. Oh, no, the fuck got babies got a, always do the truck. I got a center console and a stick shift. Yeah, but you got a stick it's shift. I had a bench shoot with a stick shift. You can still sit in the middle. Yeah, well, but he's got, got a thing. There. I got a center console sitting there with like cup holders. And oh. He made out of wood. He whittled one. Yep. I mean, I don't know. Kelly Joe and I both sat on that and Tom on the way. Oh, well, sometimes when that the back seat needed to be back, back, vacated. Well, I mean, that was a worst case scenario. So we got two girls and two guys in the front seat and we did okay. Yep. Alex can't get close to you in the truck. I mean, if, I, if we wanted to, I could put the thing in the back seat, but it's just convenient in there. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> what do you think happens, Tom? <laughs> We're just, we're just, just trying to think this. If, if Cam goes to her like apartment and he walks in the door and he's like, man, you got some sex. He probably just like walks in and like expects her to be in the bed ready. Like he's texting on the way like, hey, sex. <laughs> Hold on your Sex pants. now. Pants. Sex, sex pants. please, now. Better sex be down condom. Yeah. Have one <laughs> condom ready for have, half time. Have it ripped open on the side of your bed. Yeah. Lay there. Don't talk to me. No, no, no. Don't First, say one don't word. Talk no, no, no. I, don't I, talk I to me unless you make 500 pounds. I disagree. Food first. Oh yeah. Okay. For have meat and butter. It's not. It's not. Rice. You're right. It's not so much him getting her ready. It's her getting him ready. Yeah. yeah mm-hmm. I bet that's he right. needs to be fed Give first. Me a, a half a stick of butter. Uh, <laughs> I don't uh, some do ground so much beef, butter anymore. And uh, some jasmine rice, please. Yes. I like the medium grain rice to be specific. Okay. Medium grain rice. Yeah, if you fuck that up, then you're gonna come quick. Yeah. <laughs> if you make me a good meal, I'll try to last longer. Is that true? Yeah. Well, you know, happiness is important. And then you hear just like. Uh, What's that song? Lay me down and softly whisper. Pretty real <laughs> <words. laughs> He has his own. He has his iPhone four out, and he's like, he's like he's turning listen, it up right here, right here, right here. Yeah. iPhone four. Mm-hmm. He's, he's turning it up as loud as he can. Yeah. It's not very loud. So he's he's holding it by his ear as he's like making out with her. Yeah, the Lay best. Lay me down and softly whisper. <laughs> the best to kind of too far. To my far. Ear. You want a man with a slow hand. <laughs> you want a lover with an easy touch. Hold on, that's my line where I put the condom on. Yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah, halftime. The go-to is uh, Willie Pandora, Willie Nelson. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. And I then thought he, it was then he takes off, off one leg of his pants. Strawberry white. Yeah. So yeah. then he's peeling off his denim. So <laughs> a lot of layers of denim. To get her started, no, it's like the, he just drops his denim shirt. <laughs> he's got the basketball denim on. Like the warm-ups, you know how basketball players have it? It's that, the pants <laughs> that just rip off the tearaways. <laughs> so his tearaway denim just comes off. He's got off. a Huck Barbell thong on. Oh yeah, the let's get stupid thong on. He pulls it, just pulls it to the side so his dick hangs out. <laughs> 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 yep. Yeah, he puts like three bandits in his mouth, three skull bandits. Puts his sunglasses on, his rodeo time hat on. Uh, yep. Yeah, it's right. rodeo time, baby. Time to ride, love. Get on. Is this true? Yeah, I think you're pretty accurate. It's, yeah. <laughs> I'd say it's about Did 95% you accurate. Hat on? I tried, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like how said, I tried, not, yeah. Not normally, normally it doesn't, but I would like it to stay on. I like it on all day. I just like it to stay on. Are you going bald? No. No, he has a full Did head of hair. Sunglasses yeah. on. Yes. 
It's my sense. That's that's. It's my sense. Twitch. It's said not that. so much to like. It, it is useful for hiding the identity on the internet, but really, it sets me in like a good, like a serious mode. I like wearing them for heavy sets, even if I'm not on the film. <laughs> The serious mode. <laughs> and uh, also, yeah, like, you know, when we got to do, you know. Yeah, that gets real serious, then we have sex. Yeah. Puts me in a serious yeah, mode. A game. Yep. A game. About to have sex. Let me like, put my condom on. Hey. Alex, where's my blue blockers? <laughs> where's you know, my condom? I'm fucking my blue blockers and my half open condom. My half open condom is the best thing I've ever heard. <laughs> ever. I've got to finish. Get the condom ready, Alex. <laughs> Catch this load. <laughs> oh, damn it. Drop it, loads. <laughs> oh boy! Do you hear about like women complain like, oh, he leaves his socks on? That's I don't leave like my socks on. I wear socks. I know. <laughs> I, we know. Trust me, we know. Are You're you like serious? the opposite. <laughs> like you wear your hat and your sunglasses. Like I've mm -hmm. never heard of any, anyone saying like he leaves his hat and sunglasses on. Yeah, like some people leave like a t-shirt on or their socks on, mm -hmm. or, like having sex or something like that. Nope. Cam's. Completely nude except the blue blockers, the hat, and a half open condom. And his black yeah, feet rubbing out of the, the shoes. Oh, yeah, and his skull cut, cut, Cutting holes. Hey, what about her fucking sheet? She's got to be pissed at you. If you're fucking really putting into her, you're going to be. <laughs> you got to be really grinding those yeah, teeth down. I mean, if you're standing up, you're bending her over, and all of a sudden. Yeah, you're jackhammered. Come on, come on. Yeah, you're getting a little brutal here. <laughs> well, you're saying if your feet are flat on her bed, no, you're having sex. Let's take her easy here. Oh, I'm just saying. <laughs> no, what <laughs> are those shoes look like? <laughs> There are fucking holes everywhere. Oh God, he's just tearing. You ever seen Swiss right? cheese? No, I need I need uh, Carhartt to make some sheets. <laughs> Carhartt <laughs> denim sheets. Oh, he's... <laughs> denim sheets. Not denim. That's... Not denim. No, no, no. Carhartt I disagree. Canvas. I disagree. I think you secretly. No, you want the canvas, sheets. like the the tan canvas that Carhartt yeah. comes out with. I know what Carhartt is. I'm just making a joke that he wears everything. Well, denim they come up with kits. different. If so, if you knew someone who could make some denim sheets, I would pay for them. Yeah, you ever heard of Huffman Barbell Apparel? Coming next. <laughs> Can I <have> my logo all <laughs> so? over? Oh yeah, Karen's in. She's making them right now, pal. She's looking up denim sheets for you. She's denim, gonna, she denim, order sheets, them. denim socks. Denim sheets, queen. What size is your bed? Twin, king, queen. Queen. So we just vomit. <laughs> what was that, Cam? Was that your mouth? That wasn't me. <laughs> that was his feet. You got denim sheets? Oh fuck yeah! Well, they're like blue. They oh. look yeah, that, like jeans. Uh, I want. I need something made of denim. Sheets. We need. We need. What is that? Dickies? A Wrangler. We need some Wrangler. Yeah, with the sheets. patch. Yeah. You got the big patch where your head goes? Yeah. Man, I hope your old lady doesn't listen to this. Me yeah, this I never be... talk about my life like that. Yeah, me, me neither. Me too. Well, in Cam's defense, he's not talking about Alex, he's talking about himself. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, I told you to back off when you're talking about Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. saying. Because yeah. people are like, how, why would you stand on the bed while if you're standing on the bed having sex, you know, trying to, you know, pound her out? Yeah, we had. <laughs> See, that's where we. <laughs> you guys yeah. stand on the bed? Like they don't stand enough. They're standing on the bed? Who stands on the bed? <laughs> Have you ever stand, stood on the bed? I get wild, man. I don't tell you. I mean, you could stand on the ground. Stand on the ground. Who stands on their bed? That is right. Tom stands <laughs> on the bed. Could be anybody. I mean, Jesus. I don't know how this works. Because like, you're not that tall. No. Okay. Yeah, yeah I ceilings, Karen. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Yeah, so you're you stand on the bed? bed. Well, if you're like, where's the not rest like of the standing person? Like completely up, but if you're like, you know, kind of over, and your feet are on the ground. On the, on the bed. ground or the bed? The ground or the bed. So, so you're standing. He's <laughs> standing. He's standing. Yeah. Partially not on like the bed. all the way erect. I'm erect, but I'm not. <laughs> the body. Not erect. I hope you're all the way erect. Not all the way erect. <laughs> you know, you guys know what I'm talking about, right? I have no, no idea. What you're not at all. I'll show you. I'd like to. <laughs> <laughs> guys, feel free to go back to my bedroom. <laughs> it was going to show you his halfway erect, half stance, whatever. Like it is. a um, Kama Sutra podcast next week, yeah. showing positions. Yeah, putting in the condom on. All right, hey, Karen, go on, go on mute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright, it's just me and you now, bud. <laughs> now, explain to me again how you put the condom on. <laughs> Wait, okay, hold on. Last last question to oh, that. Oh, boy. I love, I don't what do you say? No, hold on. That can't be the last question. He hasn't even... Well, we've been talking about his condom. We're about done. But we yeah. don't know how it starts. Like, how no, does no, it work? This is what I want to know. have to be sick of this. I want to know. When you're... When you're I guarantee you they're not. <laughs> <laughs> when, when they're you're, hoping that we can pull another jab of information. <laughs> yeah, out. I mean, this is insane. When you're raw dog. Yeah, you know, raw dog in your old lady. No condom, that means. No, that means no condom. That means no denim on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> denim jacket's off. You're raw dog in her. Right. Jacket's off, glasses are on. Do you just like say, like, time out? Hold please. Half time? Is there like a. It's like Zach Morris, you know, saved by the bell. Everybody just pauses. Time out! Or you just stop and then she knows what you're doing. 
Is she like your nurse? Is she prepping for you? I don't know if I thought about it all that much. Well, then how do you... Well, how, how do you... Is it like just like, like on a, the bed next to you? So you, you just grab it? You just change and then you just figure it's getting close. Sneak it on? Yeah. What do you mean you figure it's getting close? Well, you know kind of where you're at. You know? No, I don't. Well, yeah... Yeah, you're, you're not just surprised you finish all of a sudden. You're Sometimes having, I am. You know when you're, <laughs> I am. Have you ever had sex with Joe? You know when you're getting close. <laughs> you're oh, 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 did I come? Uh, my bad. It's happened to me. Catch <laughs> you know next time, happened. Garrett. I had no idea that was coming. <laughs> Guilty. Didn't know I was coming. <laughs> it's happened to me on several occasions. But go on. Well, that was all, yeah. So you know where you're at, and then you're at a good spot. You just you just throw it on. Throw it on. Does she even know what's going on? Do you well, she's a smart lady. She I'm sure she knows. I mean, do you announce it? Yeah, do you announce it? Condom is coming on! <laughs> Ready to uh, come! Attention, attention, I'm about to come! Okay, keep moving faster. Yeah. Condom's on, we're good. <laughs> Condom's on, I'm going in now. Yep. That's how it goes? Mm hmm. Yeah, we use uh, one of the verbal cues. Those are, what are the verbal cues? Well, just what you said. Condom is on! I am entering your vagina! That's exactly like that. Pretty good bro. That is not your vagina! My bad! <laughs> Whoopsies! I didn't over feel that. it That's as well, well because I have a condom. Is it in yet, Cam? <laughs> I have done it here. I'm actually done. <laughs> I finished 10 minutes ago! <laughs> Fourth quarter is done and over. We're on to the post game show. <laughs> Oh, the best shit. would probably be like when you're done having sex, you're like putting all that denim back on. You're like hot, sweaty. <laughs> no, no, no. It's like sticky no, denim. No, no, no. Oh yeah. How do you get it back on? Well, what if you gotta go change someone's tire? No, I got like a cool down period, buddy. <laughs> cool. What's the cool down period? That's where though? that's where he lays in the bed and she fans him and feeds him no, at the I same pull, time. I normally stand by the windows, feeds. open the windows. Yeah. Like winter time. Open the windows. Wait, butt naked, buddy. I get hot. Ew. Oh, I bet it's very hot. Yeah, but she lives in like a populated area. Your windows There's open. Blinds. Your... They're, so they're like you know, they're staggered. You get yeah. so hot that you need to stand by an open window. I wake up in the middle of the night and have to go stand by open windows. So Why don't you have her do the work? This way you don't get so hot and sweaty and gross. Yeah, I know it. Just generate heat, buddy. Well, I'm sure he's not doing hardly any work. I'm sure she's doing most of it. All the work. Yeah, okay. Keep what? Up. You're not mobile. You don't move well. You can't do anything fast. Yeah, you can't. Like, I'm pretty good at <laughs> You can't even move your hands sideways. Can't yeah. do that. Well, you just learned that trick like last week. Yep. Look, girl. So the post-game show consists of you standing by a window naked. <laughs> cooling off. Sweating, cooling off. Breathing smoking heavy. a cigarette? Yep. Normally, yeah. Well, going to bring me a cigarette and a glass of water. Well, I guarantee you smoking a cigarette. <laughs> I can see Cam now. Hey, darling, why don't you grab me <laughs> Hey, a, darling, you, you turned into Jack the Homeless. Yeah. <laughs> why don't you grab me a cigarette and a uh, water? You stand by this yeah. window. Yeah. And by the way, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Nobody want to put that used condom in Good anyway. news, I came with a condom. Mm -hmm. Only a little bit got you first. Yeah, That's good fine. news. Uh, you know, at half time we got a condom on. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you took, could tell the difference, but the condom was used. <laughs> and there's going to be no babies. Well, she can 100% tell the difference. All right, so she knows what you're doing when you're doing it. Yeah. It's not a surprise. No. Is she the one that told you to use it? No. You're the one that told you to use it. Well, yeah. Like, so who decided the condom thing? Because you guys have been together for a year now. I mean, why would well, you use it? Well, it started off. Is always. she on birth control? Uh-uh. Oh, Jesus. Oh, 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 Jesus. Jesus. Oh, no. I guess I shouldn't say that for sure. Jesus. I guess I don't know. Shit. You don't know? You've been together a year. You never asked? Never. I don't think so. Well, how my business? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. He's getting real nervous now. <laughs> never asked. Oh, I don't know. I don't think so. I never asked. asked. I guess I just been rolling you're having, dice. You're having kids for sure. Bro. Nah. No, I'm done, dude. Is that why she wasn't drinking Saturday? Oh, she was drinking Saturday. I know, I just showed Oh, yeah, she was. She was kicked out of that bar, I heard. She was, that, she was kicked out of that bar by the same waitress we had, and somehow, somehow. What bar? <laughs> the, we went where to we it. had dinner. Yeah. That waitress that dealt with Finn so, and Uncle Chuck <laughs> and the whole crew with Wallace and Tank and Somebody. Uh, T Rex and all of us. She dealt with all of us. I had a message. Friendly. <laughs> It said Alex was kicked yeah. out of that bar two weeks ago. She was, not two weeks ago, four days before that bartender stopped serving Alex and her what? friends. Yeah, somebody oh, messaged me and I asked Cam about it. Uh-huh. 
So yeah. somehow you guys were behaving better than Alex and her friends. She must have been wild as hell then, because we had a wild crew in there that night. She was drinking the Lord. She was? The Lord's? It's the worst shit of all time. Wait, the day she got I was in there. That's like a joke drink. Yeah. It is a joke drink. 